Oh God.
Hello and welcome, welcome and hello. It is Thursday and this is Defense Against the Dark Arts. Uh, <laughs> hang on. I <coughs> hang on. I've been practicing this all day, you guys. I am your Professor Severus Snape. I realize that Snape never really wore the Slytherin uh, robe, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much. What am I even doing? Hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. It's freaking Halloween Eve, 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 Eve. And so this is Halloween Eve, 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 Eve vlog, and it's going to be essentially a regular standard issue vlog with more Alan Rickman impressions in there. And I, look, I said I could do an Alan Rickman impression. I didn't say it was a good Alan Rickman impression. I don't even have any glasses on and I'm, and I'm shaved. I feel like a different person. How do you not love Alan Rickman? How do you not love Alan Rickman? I mean, besides Severus Snape, he was the Metatron. He was Hans, Hans. In Die Hard, Hans Gruber, Hans. John McClane. So we're here tonight to celebrate Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween to the FDA. that They got some news that they weren't super stoked on. So happy Halloween to the FDA. Happy Halloween, everybody out there. We're going to have a, a full-on fun, action-packed vlog planned out for you guys tonight. Um, we are going to be having some hopefully very random special guests just appearing throughout the vlog in their Halloween costumes tonight. I've reached out to a, a big group of people. I sent them links. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe some random ass people are going to show up tonight and entertain us. I think I hit up what Kent, Eric, I hit up Beecher, I hit up Danielle Jones. So we might have some guests stopping by tonight. And I just realized I get to deal with this Snape wig all night long, all night long. And I shaved my face and it was totally worth it. I feel much more like Snape now than I did before. Let me tell you, when I was wearing my glasses and I had a beard and I had this wig on, I was like, nope, nope, there's no Snape. And these are all candles. So just a little bit of a fire hazard in my office tonight. That's okay. Let me do a, uh, let me do a real quick uh, run down for you. Beer, of course, I've got a beer. I'm supposed to have a beer guest tonight. It's okay. He had to work. It's no big deal, but I have a beer tonight. We have a whole mess of mail, including you guys. You guys. Face meat. Face meat. Face meat. Look, I don't know how this guy became a celebrity on my YouTube, but he is, and he sent me some mail, and I have some mail from face meat. Sorry. Just feeling uh, dehydrated. Of course, we're going to talk about what I've been vaping. Of course, I have a retro vaping. Of course, like I said, vape mail. We're going to have a very random liquid tasting. I'm going to throw a little bit of news in there as well. And hopefully, if, if there's any luck, let me know if I'm too loud or too quiet. If there's any luck, we should have some... Uh, we should have some guests stopping by. In fact, my first guest should be here in about a half an hour. So I'm going to whip through some things, you guys. Welcome. Happy Halloween. I hope everybody is, uh, I hope everybody's dressed up tonight. You know, that's really my only, my only hope is that there's some people out there dressed up and uh, feeling as ridiculous as I do dressed as Snape in my Gryffindor office, my Gryffindor, Gryffindor. Hogwarts style office with, uh, I went and bought 30 candles. Meet, meet my 30 candles. I bought 30 candles from Michael's and they're all burning uh, around my office. It's safe. You know, I'm safe. It's safe with one big gust of wind from my, uh, from my smoke free lungs. Like I could put all these candles out in, in just in like two seconds, three seconds maybe. But, uh, yeah. Welcome, you guys. I think we've been through the rundown. I think we've gone through everything. I haven't been, I've been so sidetracked by today. I've been walking around my house all day long just doing my Snape impression. I spent like 20 minutes in the shower doing nothing but saying, This is defense against the dark arts. That's, that's the best Alan Rickman impression I think you're going to get out of me all night. Maybe all night. 
We're already running long. We're already 100% running long. So let's just, let's start diving into this. We, in fact, we have a band tonight that we're going to get to judge again. We had, uh, we had that band, uh, non Lynn kind of submitted, I guess their music for, for review on the Grim Green YouTube. We got another band that we're going to listen to tonight and we are going to rate their music. We're going to rate their music. I haven't had long hair in such a long time. It makes me feel wizardy. I feel like a wizard. So the first thing you want to just let's drink some beer right out of the gate. The first thing I want to do is get to the beer. So let's do the beer. Is it too dark? I'm trying to make it moody, you know? I'm trying to make it moody in here, but I feel like I'm going to need some more light at some point. But for now, we stay moody and we drink beer. Let's drink beer. The beer we have tonight is from <laughs> Adrot Adro Theory. This is a Poon Sauce McNasty beer. This is called Ossuary. And it is the most death metally looking Halloween looking beer that I could possibly find. It's this one, Ossuary from Adrot Theory, Russian Imperial Stout. This is a, you guys, on top of dress, dressing like Snape tonight, on top of the Halloween episode, on top of guests stopping by and the action packed vlog, this is a 12% beer, Jesse James, 12% beer. Going to be pouring this tonight into my uh, Grim Army Tulip style glass. I'm expecting this to pour dark like motor oil. Yep. It's a Russian Imperial Stout, so there's going to be no head on here. Oh, I can't even get the whole can in the cup. That's how you know that we're going to have a really, really, truly spectacular vlog tonight. Andy Jones passing on Halloween. Well, you know what, Andy Jones? You can drive your lorry right out of this chat. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Andy Jones I'm just kidding bro I'm just kidding cheers here's to you guys did Snape ever drink beer I don't know you know what's the hardest thing about doing a Snape impression is he's British so you don't just have to sound like Alan Rickman you kind of have to have like the British accent on top of it Richard B here's to you it's gonna get weird tonight um that's incredible. It's savory. Russian imperial stouts always always taste savory to me. And it's not like a salty savory. It's like, I don't know how to say this without putting people off, but it kind of, I get like a beef vibe from it. I know that sounds weird, but Russian imperial stouts Give me like a very savory, savory, like rich beef, <laughs> beefy, bouillon -y. I can't, it's hard to explain. Obviously, I'm not a professional beer guy. Maybe Poon Sauce did a better review of this. It tastes beefy to me. Beefy. I wish I was planning Mallory Gates. I was trying to have a pumpkin beer. Rogue makes my favorite pumpkin beer and I couldn't track it down anywhere. That's okay. We have a ossuary tonight, Russian Imperial Stout. Again, I know literally nothing about this beer, so I'm gonna go try to uh, find it. Ossuary from uh, Adrot Theory. Uh, uh, I have Snape hair in my mouth. Not rated. Okay. There's no ratings for this freaking anywhere. It's seasonal. It seems to get pretty good reviews from the users. Four out of five, four and a half out of five. This guy said it was not great, but I've had worse. It has lots of dark malt with the presence of coffee and hazelnut. I would have said beef. I would have said this has a beefy, this has a beefy flavor to it. It does have chocolate, hazelnut. You kind of get out of all Russian Imperial Stouts, there's always that really hard, caramely, like dark caramel sort of flavor to it. Listen, I know I should not have said beefy beer. Damn it. I should not have said beefy beer. Why'd you like, why'd you guys let me get away with that? This is delicious. This is 
smooth, spicy. I get deep, deep, like dark caramel, low notes from it. I do get that beefy flavor, but I, that's because that's only, that's, I don't know how else to describe it. That's just the word that comes out of my mouth. Beefy. It's a beefy beer, you guys. Okay, it's freaking delicious. This is a freaking delicious, delicious beer. It reminds me of uh, one of the other Russian Imperial Stouts, one of the only other Russian Imperial Stouts that I've consumed regularly is that old, old Rasputin. Old Rasputin's Russian Imperial Stout. That was my first like exposure to stouts or anything imperial blew me away. Reminds me very much of that old Rasputin's Russian Imperial Stout. It's just dark, thick, heavy, heavy. This is freaking delicious. I'm going to pair this with the Jake Scrapwood Vanilla Bourbon Honey Tobacco. I think this is going to be an incredible pairing right now. And I'm not trying to hype it up too much, but Halloween pairing. Yeast, is that what I'm tasting? Yeast, tow velocity? That is delightful, John McLean. Beautiful, beautiful pairing, beautiful beer. Jake's honey bourbon tobacco pairs with this so well. So well, I want to do it again, damn it. Mmm. Mm. Thick. Yeah, two C's in that, Derek. It's a thick beer. So tasty. And like, obviously, it's a 12%. So that alcohol flavors kind of... How does Snape sit with this fucking robe? Now. Now. Actually, Snape taught potions. He didn't teach... Uh, defense against the dark arts until the latter movies and even then he certainly didn't wear a Slytherin robe so who knows what Snape I am I'm, I'm Snape from Earth Dimension C138 different I'm <laughs> a different one delicious beer shout out to Yapoon Sauce McNasty I wish you could have been here tonight to enjoy this with me but it is effing delicious mm -hmm. I feel like Snape would have liked this beer I feel, I feel like he was. I mean, I, I didn't know him personally, but uh, I feel like he would have liked it. Let's see what some Super Chats came in. A running long. Where are they? Gary? Was that Gary? Gary had the first one in? No, nope. there was some more that popped in. Eric had one. We're singing happy birthday tonight. I know for sure. Let's see. Eric had one. Happy Halloween vlog, dude. Happy Halloween, Eric. Appreciate you being here. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. Appreciate you, bro. I haven't seen you around. Hope you're doing good. Happy Halloween to you too, duder. Appreciate you being here. There was some more that came in. Uh, Fishy. <laughs> Fishy says, maybe I'll dress like Kent later. Maybe I won't. I guess we'll wait and see. <laughs> Fishy. Dress up like Kent. Be Kent. All you have to do to be Kent is take down your hair and put on a Twisted Messes t-shirt. You'll be Kent. 100%. 100%. Uh, Kashits Das. Hey, hey. Greetings from India. What's up? Thank you for being here. I'm sorry what Bloomberg did to your country. Bloomberg came into your country and just banned all of vaping. And so I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Trying to get that turned around. Shout out to all of the all of the vapors in India. All of the all of the vapors in India that don't want to smoke cigarettes anymore. Shout out to you. Appreciate you being here. My yeah, my heart breaks for certain countries. Uh, Gary, very gracious of you. Yo yo, shaven grim. Glad I was able to make it to a live for once. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Hashtag replay crew. Gary, I appreciate you being here, bro. Th I'm glad you made it to a live. Glad you made it. Tribal Buddha says. <gasps> Rest in peace, Step. Did you break your mod? Tribal Buddha, I'm sorry for your loss. Break, breaking a mod is not fun. It's never good. Rest in peace. We can get you a new one. Let's get you a new one. I'll buy you a new one, Tribal Buddha. <laughs> I can't stand that. Uh, vape, uh, Dave Lloyd, very gracious of you. Legion Vapes told me to give you $20. Here's the thing, Dave Lloyd. I very much appreciate that. And the next time 
Legion Vapes is streaming, I'm going to go on his stream and I'm going to give him like a hundred dollars. I'm going to give him like $300. I'm going to be like, this is Dave Lloyd's super chats back at you. I'm going to be like, Dave Lloyd told me to give you a stupid super chat. That's what I'm going to do, Dave Lloyd. And you can't stop me. Jesse James says, ha happy Halloween, Nick. Uh, vaping my drag X with steeped Turkish maize and a Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Bro, Jesse, that sounds top notch. That sounds completely delightful. Barbara Burgess, uh, watching Black Sabbath Paranoid's classic album, and Ozzy said, give Grimm $5. Yeah, Ozzy would, he would say that. In not, not so many syllables, he would say that. Happy Halloween from the Gypsy Druid Pirate Queen, Moranga. <laughs> Barbara, love you. Hope you're, having a, hope you're having a great week, Barbara. Nathan says, uh, Harry Potter told me you needed $5 five dollars to start e-liquid class that's right in in the harry potter world nathan we call that persians welcome to persians you can ensnare the mind he didn't he say something like that ensnare the mind the dark lord austin austin Whoa, Austin, very gracious of you. Thank you very much for that super chat. You didn't say anything and you didn't have to, Austin, but damn it, bro, I appreciate that. And thank you for coming out tonight. Dang, that was awesome. So we got some super chats. I'm gonna turn on this other light so that it's not so vibey. Like I feel like we got the Halloween vibe kind of going and it's good, but is this too much? Oh no, this is still good. Okay, okay, yeah. Yes, the Dark Lord. Um, well, I don't even know what we're gonna do next. What time is it? Let's uh, let's real quickly whip through a few things I've been vaping because I think Danielle Jones is gonna be here in the next twenty minutes, and uh, we're gonna talk about news and advocacy. FDA. <laughs> this is good. All of the news tonight, almost all of the news tonight, is good news. Stoked news. News that will make you stoked. Stoked. John McLean stoked. So real quickly, here's a few things that old, uh, old Severus has been vaping these days. I'll tell you one thing. Severus Snape did not wear a dorky Apple watch. He wouldn't have no need for a dorky Apple watch. He can just wave his wand and go, how many calories have I burned? And just an owl will fly in and tell him 200 calories. And you go, thank you. And that's it. That's how it works in the Harry Potter world. So Here's a few things that I've been vaping. If we're going to talk about pods, we're going to talk about the thinner that hasn't left my hand. And we're going to talk about this new Vupu Drag Nano that's just a thick little boy. And it is, uh, uh, it's pretty great. I'm still reviewing the new Vapresso X, X Rosses, <laughs> the crosses. So those have been going pretty well. Um, fuck Dot Mod, like fuck that company. But this thing is rad, and it's got the Pioneer uh, RBA on the inside. Again, Jake Scrapwood, it's in mouth to lung. Can you hear the crackle? It's so good. Uh, such a great crackle. Aria from Ohmboy, hoping to have a review for this uh, very, very soon. Dual 18650, fucking banger of a mech. That's the, uh, oh, man, what RTA is that? Sewer rug, help me out. What RTA? What RTA is that? That's the Valkyrie RTA. I have a marketplace Fuji apple mango pear berry or something like that. It's spectacular. This is a spectacular vape. I've got uh, two billet boxes going. The Stormtrooper has the Kirsch on the inside, and Golden Boy has the Mission Orbit on the inside. This is the new best. Favorite, best, favorite, billet box bridge, favorite ever. Hope to have a review for this very, very soon. Oh, I'm going to say it. Rhett, Red Falls, I'm going to say it. It's a thick little boy. That is a thick little boy. <laughs> Just kidding, Red Falls. Just kidding. Um, and that's good. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, this. Oh, yeah, this. Would you think I was lying if I said that the Havoc from UL is still in my daily rotation and I use it every, literally every day at my desk? <clears throat> 
I still use it literally every day at my desk. I'm a squonker now. I squonk. Grim Green squonks in 2021, bro. Snowcap, squonker. I can't not love it. Single 21, 700. Nitrous, RDA on top. It's, this is amazing. This is Turkish uh, Pumpkin AF. I've been steeping this for a year. I'm getting great crackle, great, great flavor, like truly stellar flavor from this RDA. Just did a review for this. Go watch it. It's a great, great RDA. That hasn't really left my hand. Um, Went and head and set up a two-tone hexome the other night in the yo-yo, uh, you know, post-vlog Zoom hangs. We were talking, we were mutually talking about our love of hexomes, and I thought, yeah, hexome. Like we were really praising hexomes for a while, and I was like, yeah, dude, hexomes rule. Like, why don't I have a hexome set up right now? So, I grabbed my hexome. I set up this little two-tone hexome through the uh, Typhon GT4S on top doesn't look very cool but dude it's a hexome it's a hexome poor kids of discord on the inside of that sifu as this steeps up it gets closer and closer to rich kids of instagram like with every day that passes and this is steeping it just tastes more and more like rich kids of instagram and i guess lastly just shot up the review for this mouth to lung. It's the Pandora. I just saw on Instagram, they're doing a V2. So I'm excited. I got to try the first one. I'm excited to try the V2. I think this is kind of an underrated uh, mouth to lung tank, truly and honestly. It is delightful. So good. So effing good. But that's it. Like, that's really what I've been vaping. It's kind of been down to these two things for mouth to lung for me. Like, the Nano came in and I started using it like crazy. And then the mix with that Digiflavor Siren coil head based tank on top. Poet's uh, motor oil is on the inside. That's a, a, the Amaretto Pear. It's just a dark liquid anyway. And when I let it sit here for, you know, two plus years, it gets much deeper, deeper steeped. This is a deep deep steep mm. but holy crap that is delightful that is crazy delightful so it's whatever i like mouth to lung stuff the me pod 2 is currently going through the review process the smoke uh solace pod is currently going through the review process i'm not horribly impressed with the smoke thing It, look, it's fine. This is one of the things I'm going to say. It's fine. Smoke thinner is pretty good. Smoke thinner is pretty good. I made sure to use the replacement coil heads. I bought two replacement coil heads because everyone tells me the same thing about smoke products. I'm sorry I jumped to the smoke thinner. Joe Mask in the chat mentioned the smoke thinner. I made it a point to use the spare coil heads. I buy spare coil heads and use those instead of the stock when it comes with, because literally everybody told me the same thing. They said, oh, the smoke coil heads that you get with the kit always work really well. It's the replacement coil heads. That's where the junk, like that's where things go sideways. So I purchased a bunch of like replaceable stock coil heads. So any review for a smoke product is always using the replacement coil heads, not the one that comes with it. Not the one that comes with it. And I will say I've kind of been having ah maybe a little bit of love affair with this with this Mi Pod 2. It's kind of it's kind of pretty awesome. I've dropped my nicotine to six milligram. Yeah, it's just a thing that happened for all my mouth to lung. I was using 12 milligram for a really long time, years and years. I still have a few 12 milligram bottles, but I'm dropping myself to six. And the Mi Pod is the first six milligram pod that I've been using. Awesome. Still, still very, very awesome. I know, Captain Spicy. I know. Look, smoke sucks. The, the problem is, look, look, I, I have to review it. Sucks or not, I still have to review it, you know? Sucks or not, I still want to review it. I like tucking my hair behind my ears. Okay, okay. I could easily put on a, a hat and turn this into a Wayne outfit, like a Wayne costume. 
You know, Wayne's World? No? All right. Let's get back to John McLean. <laughs> Hans! Okay. Um, so I don't remember where I left off. Yeah, that's what I was vaping. This is the Me Pod 2. It's pretty good. Now, I want to do a quick segment real quick before Danielle Jones gets here. I want to do this. I just don't care, and I bought it, so we're going to do it. Grim Green reviews a vape thing that he's never even tried before. So, what we have tonight. I went and I got, finally got one, you guys. Who's excited? This is the newest. <laughs> this is the newest tech from Views. FDA marketing order approved. This is appropriate for the protection of public health. I tracked down a Views Solo and I, we're, I'm gonna vape it literally right now. A Views Solo. So far, apart from, oh, this is very, very high-end packaging. Um, plastic, got your battery right there, boosh. This is appropriate for the protection of public health. The Views Solo. Beecher Howard. <laughs> Havada Kadabra. Actually, I don't have my wand. Where is my wand? Expelliarmus. That worked. And you know it worked. Did your mod just fly out of your hand? Yeah, that's what happened. So I bought a View Solo. I bought two Views pods, and we're going to right now review the Views Solo, the only vapor product currently approved by the FDA as appropriate for the protection of public health. Now, this is a weird, weird ass connection. This is not a 510 connection. Let's look at this real quick. Can you see this? That is not a 510 connection. I'm, I apologize if there's not quite enough light. But that, oh, too much. That is not a 510 connection. That is not a 510 connection. Q7C, what do you think that means? Oh, what do you think that means? Q7C? Here's the, the Views Solo pod in a tobacco flavor because a tobacco flavor is the only flavor that's appropriate for the protection of public health, according to CDC and FDA. Listen, I suppose I should read the instructions. It just says, charge your unit, attach your cartridge, vape and enjoy. Cartridge may be sold separately. So I'm just going to attach this cartridge. It doesn't say, it just presses on. I pressed it on. That's it. It's a press fit thing. It just presses right down. Don't know what else I need to do. Do you think I need to let this wick for a second? Do you need to let this wick for a second? Here's the thing. I'm trying my best. Kid Bass, I'm trying my best right now not to completely shit on the View Solo. Because the View Solo, according to FDA, is appropriate for the protection of public health, which means smokers are going to see that and go try a View Solo. And I don't want a smoker trying a View Solo and then going, that sucks. I'm just going to go back to cigarettes. I don't want that to happen. I want, I know it's not realistic, but I want everybody's first vape experience to be a good vape experience to where it, or at least like a passable vape experience so they can go, oh, maybe there's something here. Maybe I can quit smoking with this. That's what I want. So here we go. View solo. Let's give this a shot. Let's just give it a drag. Let's give it an old, uh, the old grim green toot here.
Okay, I'm going to put this head to head with the Views Alto. This is, does anybody remember in 2016 when myself and a whole mess of other vape YouTubers did uh, these videos called The Future of Vaping? And we reviewed things like the Views Solo and the uh, Blue e Sig. And it was, it wasn't so much about the technology as it was like an idea to a call to action. Like if we don't do something, the future of vaping will be shitty products. Welcome to the future of vaping. It's 2021 and the Views Solo is the only product with a marketing approval order from FDA. I didn't want to be right about that. I did not want to be right about that. Here's the thing. This isn't that bad. It's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. It is substantially less satisfying than a cigarette. I mean, substantially less satisfying than a cigarette. The, the Caliburn A2 Ascending is substantially more satisfying than a cigarette. Mm. That is just delightful, smooth, crispy, flavorful vape. This, on the other hand, is old, outdated technology. Tastes bad. Tastes not good. Vapes bad. Vapes not good. Let me turn my interview on so I can get people in the green room here. Oh, there she is, Danielle Jones. I see you there, Danielle Jones. Don't you wait. Just hang on, Danielle Jones. <laughs> I love your costume. Okay. So in closing, the Views Solo. Look, it's old. It's outdated technology. It doesn't taste very good. It doesn't vape very good. But it is a substantially better option for you than combustible tobacco cigarettes. So if you're a smoker, try it. Just go try it. And honestly, if you don't like it, try to stick with it. And if you do like it, then there is a world of vape stuff out there. Literally everything on my desk vapes better than this. You like this? You like this Cali burn? Vapes better than the Views Alto. So if you went and bought a Views Solo, this is your next step. You see this right here? It's like a jump away from this and you're just a jump away from a hexome. Like that's how it goes. And then you can really have a good vaping experience. I'm hoping that the Views Solo is going to be like a gateway, for lack of a better term, a gateway for smokers to get into vaping. That's my only hope. It's not that good. It's really not that good. Well, now that I have a guest here, we are going to uh, quickly jump into some news. If I could find the bumper thing. Really? I don't have the news bumper on my stream deck. What, what am I new here? Let's do some news and advocacy. New advocacy, yeah. Yeah, and I would like to welcome our very special news and advocacy guest to the stream, Danielle Jones. Danielle Jones. Danielle Jones. Woo! What's up? How are you? Hi. How's it going? Happy Halloween. Oh, you know. Happy, Happy early Halloween. Halloween. Are you excited to be here on the Thursday vlog stream? I am. I had to dig into my closet, but this is my trusty Jedi Snuggie. Yes. So. Jedi Snuggy for life. I love it. I'm uh, I'm Severus Snape because this is oh, what I had I left. I love it. Yes. I love it. I've tried to put candles all over my office. This is a severe fire hazard back here, you see. Oh, see, I have, do you see mine? Oh, you do have candles too. Except here's the trick, they're LEDs. Oh, see, I went I went full fire. I went full full danger mode. Full See, danger mine, mode. If you watch mine, they even flicker like candles. Watch them. Oh. Mine don't flicker yeah. unless I like. Oh, mine flicker. They look legit AF, man. Flicker. <laughs> I can't get my candles to flicker. That's nah, okay. That's okay. Happy Halloween, Danielle Jones. 
Happy Halloween. Thank you for coming out, dude. You're just in time. We were going to talk about some news. We were going to talk about some news and advocacy. It's and my favorite topic. It's your favorite topic. It's not. It's like we have talked about this before. I think. I, mean, I think maybe? we've talked about this in the past, maybe like a, a few times. Stream. Yeah, it's I like a completely remember. different stream. This is one thing that I care about: the Casa call to action. This boom, is a real thing. It's still active. It's still legitimate. It's still valid. We're still doing the Casa call to action to fight the vape tax, which would be. You know, it would be a detrimental thing. It would be a yeah. detrimental thing. Now, if you want to know how bad it is, look at the Casal call to action. We have a little chart. It gets yeah. bananas, you guys. You're talking about like $20, $40, $60 just in tax for a bottle of liquid. That's um, not including the price of the product. That's just tax. Just tax. This would This would be very, 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 very bad. Very, very bad. So... That's why Casal has a call to action. It's literally right here. You can scan the QR code. I'll have a link down in the description. This is still a call to action and it is still critical call to action. Now, I want to real quickly talk about the old surprise switcheroo from the FDA. This was this is kind of incredible news. Like, yep. this is a big deal. This is kind of a big deal. So essentially, well, I'm just going to read right now from the Jim McDonald of Vapen 360. He says... In a decision that could shake up the FDA's pre-market review process for vaping products, a federal court has granted a stay to Triton Distribution, preventing FDA enforcement on the agency's marketing denial order. So Triton was one of those companies in September that got MDOs. Like, they just got a whole mess of MDOs. And I remember people on Twitter, Greg Connolly was saying things like, this isn't legal advice, but if you got an MDO, you should lawyer up and challenge it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not a lot of smaller to medium-sized manufacturers were, were able to do that. But a few people were, and one of them, besides Turning Point Brands, was Triton. Triton. Yep. And they carry, I mean, they sell a lot of e-liquids. It says here, yeah. A three-judge panel on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals found that Triton, also known as Wages and White Lion Investments, is likely to succeed in its MDO appeal and that the FDA order is likely arbitrary, capricious, and otherwise unlawful. 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 A judge said that, Danielle Jones. They did. It was pretty exciting. And just to be clear, so what Triton did is they asked for a stay. They they filed a motion to stay um, pending the outcome of the hearing. So mm -hmm. they are appealing the denial, the MDO that they got. They're appealing their denial. But in the interim, they want the judge to prevent FDA. It's kind of like a restraining order right. in a way. They want to prevent them from enforcing on their products. So that's what the judge ruled on was the stay. So this, they're saying FDA cannot enforce on you while we get to the actual full hearing that goes right. over what you actually filed. So this is step one, but it's a very good step. And the fact that they said that their appeal is, you know, looking pretty good. Looking I mean, really good. The FDA got spanked hard, hard. in this judge's opinion. Hard. Like, like it was harder than I've hard seen spank. ever. Yes. It was a hard, hard spank. It says here, the court found the FDA. This is something that we've been talking. Move the goalposts. We have been talking about moving the goalposts, the FDA moving the goalposts for what seems like years. Yeah, constantly years. I think it's actually years. It is actually years. It says, it says the court found the FDA moved the goalposts for companies submitting pre-market tobacco application in the years following its 2016 deeming rule. The agency changed the date for the submission multiple times, wrote Judge Andrew S. Is his name really Old Ham? Oldham? Oldham? I okay. I don't know how to say it other than Old Ham because that's such a cool last name. Wrote Judge Andrew S. Oldham. And after explaining that manufacturers could submit PMTAs without long-term scientific evidence, the FDA changed its mind and required the very thing it said it would not require, namely long-term studies of e-cigarettes. So when all of these small and medium-sized companies were submitting their PMTAs, they were told by FDA, oh, no, no, you don't need that, right? 
They were told, Correct. no, 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 you don't need that. You don't need right. a randomized control trial. You don't need a longitudinal cohort study. You don't need any of that. And right. so these companies went, oh, okay, here you go. And then they went, oh, just kidding. Here's a marketing denial order because you actually needed all of this stuff. We just didn't tell you. Psych. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically what happened. And a judge went, no, no, no. Yeah. They're like, uh, no. No, no. No, no, no. We, we reject that. They called them, they called it capricious. They used the language that we like. Capricious, mm -hmm. arbitrary, likely unlawful. Unlawful. Did the FDA break the law by instituting new rules outside of the purview of Congress? Maybe. 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 And uh, I love... Speaking. The surprise switcheroo that oh was a, a, a term used by a judge. Is, this is a real thing, right? It's, a it's like thing. a clause. It's like yeah. a doctrine. statute. Yeah, a doctrine. It's a doc that people, that FDA or what is it, that they can't make new rules or change rules or something like that in the process of it. Yeah, I didn't look up the history of it. She cited it in the, or whoever wrote it, cited it in the actual brief. I think it may have had something to do with like the EPA or another <clears> government <throat> agency doing something where they changed something at the last minute. But that set like some sort of like precedent or I'm not a lawyer, I don't know. But it's called, it's an official law term that like yes. law students learn in school it called is. the surprise switcheroo doctrine. The old, the old surprise switcheroo. And I love that that term surprise switcheroo is just involved in the vaping conversation at all because that's all it has felt like is surprise switcheroos from the FDA like since 2016. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Surprise, the old surprise switcheroo. So it wasn't just that the FDA got spanked hard by these judges, hard by these judges, but these judges also rejected briefs filed by Campaign yep. for Tobacco Free Kids. That is just such a satisfying thing to <laughs> yeah, read, is. isn't it? Yep. Rejected. It yep. says that they rejected an amicus... Uh, Amicus Curie brief filed in support of the FDA by Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids. These judges just went, no, no, <laughs> no, no. We, we're going to reject that as well. I, I love their like their thought process as to why. Are you yeah. reading the part where it gets? Talk about that because I just I love it. What does it say? It says the panel. Is this the part? Hang on. It says the court rejected FDA last minute changes to evidentiary standards. Many e-cigarette companies relied on the FDA's repeated insistence, right, that they wouldn't need these things. And then it turns out that they did actually need these things. Uh, it's a uh, where I can't find. Oh, the panel of the FDA arguments uh, against a stay uh, uh, also rejected an amicus brief curiae filed in support of the FDA by campaign for tobacco free kids. These groups say the court argues that the public interest cuts against a stay because continued sale of flavored e-cigarettes will endanger the youth much more than it might help adults. But our system does not permit agencies to act unlawfully even in the, even in the pursuit of desirable ends. Is that the so, part? Yeah, yeah. So what that means is that Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids filed their brief, right? And they're like, no, you can't do this because public health. <laughs> That's what they did, right? Right, right, And the right. judges read that and looked at them and then went, listen, bitch, even <laughs> if this is for the good of public health, the point here is that FDA may have broken the law. And guess what? You don't get to break the law even if it's for a good cause. Right. So, no. Yeah, so, no. So, yes, one thing that I love from this, yeah, you don't get to break the law even if you think what you're doing is right. That's right. basically why that's they basically were like, what that yeah and so <laughs> one of the things that I love that happened is the FDA's Justice Department uh, argued um, that the court can't compel the FDA to allow Triton to sell its products. It's the, right. the FDA's lawyers were like the court can't do that. You don't and have that power. You don't have that power. And the court basically said, "Yeah, the fuck we do." What are you kidding me? Of course we do. <laughs> What are you insane? It says the court rejects the FDA's argument that we lack the authority to stand to grant a stay that provides interim relief. That's another just 
pow, spank right to the bottom. FDA tried to fight this and the judges were like, no, no, no. <laughs> we definitely, <laughs> definitely have the authority They're to like, do this. They're like, do you know who I am? Yeah, do you know what judges do? <laughs> do you know what we do? Spectacular. That's a, That was a spectacular thing. Um, did you see this? I'm going to put this right over your face. Uh, from the... <laughs> From Massachusetts, Shalene Tile. I'm, I'm moving it with my Jedi mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this from Massachusetts. Did you see this? Shalene Tile. Yes, I did read this. Who yes, was yes, yes. involved with e -Volley during e -Volley basically said... She was a cannabis commissioner for the yeah, state at the she time. She was the I cannabis commissioner for the state of Massachusetts during Ivali, and she basically said, "Look, we banned all we banned all these vapes during Ivali, and we were wrong. We fucked up really bad, really, really badly." She said that this will go down as one of the worst policy mistakes in the history of cannabis regulation. It's unbelievable. I'm going to put a link in the description, you guys, to this article, but you should definitely read it because she covers yes. all of it. She talks about how th these health or, or, you know, these health people had the wrong information. They had missing information. They talked about how Charlie Baker didn't even really know what was going on. And even yep. after the ban was lifted, he's like, oh, that was a, a really big success. And I'm right. surprised that no other states did it. And she's basically like... She's like, we're responsible for some really bad legislation that happened. And other states, please do not do what Massachusetts did. Do yep. not follow us. Do not do what we did because we fucked up. It's just really nice to hear. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. No, Someone it saying definitely like, is. We messed this up. Don't do this. Don't do this. Please do not do this. And, they go, you know, I mean, they go over everything. They talk about the knee-jerk reaction of having prohibition in place. They talk about like all the things that they're like, we didn't differentiate between cannabis vaping and nicotine vaping. We didn't differentiate between vaping and dry herb vaporizing. We didn't, you know, mm -hmm. there was nuance to this that was just completely lost on us. We made all the wrong decisions. We really fucked this up. It's everything you want to read. Like the regret of bad legislation. It's such a rare thing. Yep. to see you know mm -hmm. it's just really i i'll put a link in the description to this leafly article but reading through this you just go yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. knew that was going to happen i told you that was going to happen we told you there would be a black market we told you all this stuff and now the state of massachusetts is like realizing it and like well, kind of like she is at Some least she are. is and yeah. she's kind of going above and beyond like she's writing op-eds for for people and like trying to reverse what they've done in mass and saying, don't do what we did because right. we messed up. Yeah. I think that's great. I think that's spectacular. I agree. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Thoroughly. So I'll put that link down in the description. It's a really great, cause we had talked about Shaleen title, I think on this stream or in TBN, like in a negative way mm, before, Okay. like in a, in a negative way before. And now she's like, oops, we fucked up. We fucked up. Please well, don't do that. Well, and I remember did. either somewhere in that piece, or it may have been her actually tweeting the piece, like on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I think I saw, I could swear I saw somewhere where she was like, this is everything that I couldn't say while I was the commissioner. Right, basically. right, so, right. I mean, there it, it, that leads me to believe she is no longer in that position. Mm. I, I'm guessing that's what it sounded like. And that, you know, she was kind of. There are things that she couldn't say while it was going on that now that she's out of it, she's, you know, now it's free. Telling she's, all. She's yeah. a whistleblower. She's a cannabis. Yeah. She's an Avali whistleblower. That's what whistleblower. All right. Well, for the last little bit of news here, you got, yeah, here's the thing, Thomas. Ba Charlie Baker will never admit that he messed up. Even when it was an abject failure, he still was like, that was a success. He said, he's like, this did everything I wanted it to. It was perfect. My legis this, this was great. This was a huge success. He was like shocked that other states didn't get on board. Shocked that other states didn't get on board with their horrible, horrible legislation. Snape. Okay, here's the thing. I can't jump into a Snape impression just right now, but I'll try to. Um, okay, so the last thing, the last newsy bit. 
Cigarette sales are up for the first time in 20 years. And I just wanted to bring attention to this because I wanted to make a blanket statement that if anyone tells you that cigarette sales are up for any reason other than the continuous attack on vaping and harm reduction products, they're crazy. That is what a crazy person says. I've seen the most mental gymnastics around this issue that I've ever seen. People talking about, well, COVID, that's an excuse. That caused people to keep smoking. Okay, why? Like, it doesn't make any sense. People are, it's upsetting. People are picking other things that, I mean, like, look, yeah, quarantine, could COVID stress, could have a part you know, in it, right? Yeah. Could, could have a small part in it. But the idea that it's not because of the constant attack on vapor products, uh, no, it's no, no, not no. because of, I mean, that's absolutely what it is. And people are scratching their heads going, oh, why after 20 years are cigarette sales suddenly going back up again? What a, my what a, what a mystery. Meanwhile, everybody in this space goes, oh, we know why. Yeah. Okay, we know why. Problem well, is, if you don't admit that vaping can help people quit smoking, then of course you wouldn't even think about right. vaping having anything to do with smoking and cursing. Right, right, exactly. That's like, that's how you're living in a bubble works, right? If you don't yeah. acknowledge facts, then you don't have to acknowledge them later either. You don't have to acknowledge them later. Yep, that is, yep, that's 100% true. It, it, they, and I've said this so many times, but like people don't understand things because they don't understand them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not surprised that Raja Krishnamurthy doesn't understand it because he doesn't understand it. Yeah, yeah. He, he lacks the ability to understand the nuance of tobacco harm reduction, so he just doesn't get it. You don't get it because you don't get it. No. You need I mean, to get it first. You're not willing to learn, so you're not, not going to understand learn. anything that comes after either. Yeah. Yeah, it's infuriating. So, look, cigarette sales are up. For the first time in 20 years, cigarette sales rose. Listen, we know what this was from. And thankfully, like, the narrative seems to be, the main narrative seems to be that it was COVID, that it was quarantine. Mm -hmm. No, and I know I hate saying mainstream media, but no mainstream media is mentioning vaping or harm reduction or anything. It's all about COVID. It was quarantine. It was quarantine that caused people to start smoking. Why would quarantine cause people to start smoking? Do people I mean, I could see stress playing a role in it. Like somebody who had quit, perhaps relapsing because of the sure. level of stress. Yeah. I could see some of that. Granted, yeah. Sure. But I do think that a large portion of that has to do with vaping. 100%. It's so obvious that it has to do with vaping. Like anybody that's in this space knows without a doubt, like what caused this, why this is happening. Oh, it's because of the constant tax on vaping products. It's because of our own Department of Health and Human Services telling the US public that there's toxic metals in vapor products. Right. Telling smokers who smoke combustible cigarettes that this could be worse for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, merchants of doubt, merchants of doubt. That's obviously where it came from, and it makes me insane. Yeah. That's obviously where it came from, and it makes me insane. But uh, that's it. That's where we're at. That's where we're at right now. Nobody knows what the future holds with FDA. Like I've said, yeah, right? Like I've said at least a thousand times, this train has left the station, and I am just hanging on to the side. And that's it. I'm just seeing where it goes. And like, I know that there's a bunch of people on the train, like trying to guide it in the right mm -hmm. direction, like trying to yank it in the right direction. But ultimately, this thing is barreling down the tracks, barreling down the tracks. And it's going to end with like FDA lawsuits, 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 lawsuits. Yep. That's how public health wins in America is with lawsuits. Yep. <laughs> That's how anybody wins. It feels like anymore in America yeah. is basically a lawsuit. Yeah, lawsuits. You have to you have to sue, 
You have to sue the for the truth. The government's not necessarily going to do the right thing until you drag them into court by their hair screaming. Mm -hmm. So, and it kills me that FDA FDA seemed very confident, like going into these, you know, these lawsuits that oh, were yeah. happening. They were very confident, very arrogant, and now it's like, oh, FDA not feeling so confident these days anymore. And right. like Matt Cully pointed out on Twitter, like, did they just assume that nobody would notice? Like this sloppy, like machete hacking of regulations and did they just think nobody would notice and that nobody would care? Or they thought that like everybody would lose so much business that they wouldn't have enough money at this point mm -hmm. to even try mm -hmm. to file. I mean, who mm -hmm. knows what they thought? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a uh, it's infuriating, Danielle Jones. It's infuriating. Let's uh, that's it. Let's wrap up the news and advocacy. This isn't TBN here. We're gonna wrap this up. I'll put links to literally everything I talked about down in the description, including things like smackandnudezack.nl for the flavor ban in the Netherlands. Right to switch. I don't know if this petition is still going, but you should definitely sign it. And then do a testimonial. Do it on Casa. Do it on righttovape.org. All those links will be down in the description. Thanks for coming to hang out for some news, Danielle Jones. If you want to stick around for some super chats, that'd yeah, be pretty sure. cool too. Let's stick around for some super chats, you guys. Let's see what's going on here in the super chats. I like your Jedi robe, by the way. Uh, on the record, I like your Jedi robe. It's good. Thank you. Do you have a lightsaber? I do, hanging up over here. Oh, you're not going to wield it? Has a, I don't think it has a battery. Yeah, see, my lightsaber is over here, but my batteries are dead, too, and I don't know how to yeah. charge it. That's where I'm at. <laughs> I think that one uses an 18650, but I just don't randomly have a single 18650 hanging out that's you, charged up. You're a vapor. No, I, I you use You should pairs. have an 18. I have married pairs that are monogamous and in long-term relationships with each other. Oh, and yes, they, yes. And yeah. they do not get split up. I so. get that. Yeah. Think there's a battery in that. I get that. I could push the button and see what happens. See what Wait, happens in the meantime. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna read a super chat from Rat. Uh, it is common knowledge that Snape's favorite food ingredient was cheese. Is that real, Rat Falls? Does Snape love cheese? Cheese. cheese. <laughs> That's a good cheese. Snape impression. Give me cheese. Austin says, uh, the, my super chat was for all the cigarettes I didn't smoke from watching your videos using the Drag X Plus. Thanks for all you do. Fuck yeah, Austin. I love that. All the cigarettes you didn't smoke. You know, Breeze Tones the other day on uh, Instagram posted a picture of his puff counter and was like, it's not a puff counter. It's a numerical represent representation of cigarettes not smoked. And I was like, whoa. That's a pretty cool way to look at a puff counter. That's a pretty cool way to look at a puff counter, Austin. Appreciate you. Kristen says, uh, your dentist called me in a panic. Apparently, New Wave Dave's cat told him to tell me to give Grim Green five bucks or else. Oh, good look. Kristen, see, here's the thing. You don't want to go up against New Wave Dave's cat. That, cat's a, that cat is a sociopath, 100%. Dave Davis says, party on, Wayne. Okay. Put them both behind my ears. All right. Party on. Party on. Appreciate you, Dave. Uh, Janine, that's very gracious of you. You didn't say anything. You never have to. Appreciate you, Janine. Now, we'll see. Now we hear from New Wave Dave. New Wave Dave says, I was watching my TV with my cat when he looked at me and said, bro, I love you. What? Then motioned for a hug. But when I got close to him, he slammed a cream pie in my face and said, loser, give Nick 10 bucks. See, that's what I'm talking about, New Wave Dave's cat. That's what At I'm talking about. At least you got about. a cream pie, though. I would eat that. Yeah, did you eat the... How was the cream pie? I mean, it's on your face already. You might as well. There'd be no reason to just scoop it and eat it. It's not like the five-second rule applies to your face. No. 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 You just scoop that off of your face and you eat it. Uh, you, know. uh, you eat it. All right. Uh, Madam Vapesalot, uh, Ohio, told me to give you five bucks. First time the viewer... State. Longtime viewer, first time super chat, Madame vapes a lot. That's very gracious of you. Thank you very much. And shout out to Ohio. Who knew that me and Ohio were so tight? It's weird. Uh, Steel Valley Vapors, Will, pizza. <laughs> yeah. 
Appreciate you, Steel Valley. I'm craving pizza too. I'm craving a Red Baron, like oh. oven made pizza. That's what I'm craving. Pizza is my favorite food. Pizza is like, amazing. I love pizza. Pizza but can do I wrong. also like trashy pizza. You That's like Pizza Hut. Thing. I <laughs> love Pizza Hut. Okay. You Daniel guys don't likes Pizza Hut. The relationship that Pizza Hut and I have. It's serious. I would marry Pizza Hut. Yeah. I love they, it so much. It's like promise rings and everything, you know? Oh my God, yes. We've been going <laughs> steady for years, you guys. We're in a committed going I love steady pizza with a pizza. Hut. And it's garbage, and that's okay. More for me. You don't More have for to you, eat yeah. It. See, that's the More thing. Yeah. Me. Kevin Yum says, uh, it's as if they were doing it's as if they were doing this to alcohol. The FDA said nothing is approved except an O'Doul's that's that's half drank by Jimmy down the street. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's literally a farce. F the FDA and the rest. You know, there is it's like Amanda Wheeler said, Kevin Yum, there is a reckoning coming for the FDA and it's coming in the form of lawsuits, apparently, in the United States. That is the reckoning that's coming. Sally S., that's very gracious of you. You didn't say anything. You didn't have to. I appreciate that. Mallory Gates says, Danielle, BB-8 still beeping messages give Raja more science <laughs> than him following truth initiative science and give Grim Green five bucks. All right. So we're doing some more science for Raja and we're giving Grim Green five bucks. I very much appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That science for Raja was one of my favorite streams that we did. That was fun. We should so come fun. up with like a Twitter campaign every month and be yeah. like, today is tweet at Senator Dick Durbin day. Right. Or something. Yeah. We'll pick something. That'll be fun. Thank you. Mallory Gates. Vape and Wolf says your room is on fire. Not yet. Although I'm worried about my Millennium Falcon up here. I have an original Millennium Falcon on my shelf up here with a candle underneath it. Oh dear. Is your Millennium Falcon the same as my Millennium Falcon? If your Millennium Falcon is an original 1988 Millennium Falcon, then yes, we have know. the same Millennium it's Falcon. Old. Can you see it? The oh, your oh, your Millennium Falcon looks kind of cooler than mine. It doesn't like light up or do anything. It's just a yeah. Giant mine doesn't piece either. Plastic. It's just plastic. It's just a yeah. piece of Hasbro plastic. That's it. Yeah. I think it was my husband's from like when he was younger or something. Oh, that so it yeah. might be old. It, yeah. If it's yeah, it could be. Mine's 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 from when I was a kid. I kept it. I, think I kept it. My mom hit me up a number of years ago and was like, "Hey, I found some old junk in the storage. Do you want it?" And she opened the boxes and it was like an original Millennium Falcon. And I was like, "Yeah, I want that old junk." Like, what are you crazy? What are you crazy, mom? It's original yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> it's original Star Wars junk there. <laughs> yeah, mom. I want uh, that. I want that. Uh, MC Clouds. Yo, yo, if only the FDA could look past their narratives and lobbying and see the benefits of harm reduction. Here's the problem. They know the benefits of harm reduction. Mitch they Zeller know. is well, well aware of the benefits of harm reduction. They know what vaping is. They know what harm reduction is. They just... It's a public front ignorant thing that I don't understand. They they feign it's like this political ignorance. Political pressure. Like, it's yeah. all kinds of pressure. It's it's some bullshit. It's some bullshit. It is some bullshit, MC But Clouds. they definitely know. Charles Bug for snacks. Oh, thank you. Those those are that money is gonna go directly to snacks. I take snacks very seriously. Oh. And that money's going to snacks. My wife sent in a super chat. Casey says, uh, you have space mail and there is an astronaut ready to deliver when you give the all clear. <gasps> I want to oh. see an astronaut. Come, come in here, astronaut. Oh, is it zero gravity yes. in here? What? Best Whoa. costume ever. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, I got some vape mail from Blue Bag Bill. Love you. Thank you for the for the <laughs> for the space mail delivery. She's amazing. Casey got the space costume, like this astronaut costume, and she loves it. Like she oh. lives in it. Yeah. She does Zoom meetings in it. It's uh, yeah. it's it's hilarious. I... I got some mail from Glue Bag Bill. I don't know where Glue Bag Bill is tonight. 
We got some mail from you. That was my wife in a uh, space costume. <laughs> astronaut An costume. epic space costume. Epic. Actually. Epic astronaut costume. Uh, and that's it from Casey Pucko. I appreciate you. Appreciate all those super chats. Um, Danielle Jones, listen, thank you for coming to hang out for some news. Thank you for being a Jedi. I hope you have a, a very happy Halloween. And you guys can watch Danielle Jones and I every other Tuesday on TBN. In fact, we'll be on next week. I'm you assuming will. we'll we have more FDA stuff to talk about, more legislation stuff to talk about, maybe some more good news to talk about. You That'd never know. Great. It's it's literally like you don't know what's going to happen. One day we could have great news. <laughs> One day we could have terrible news, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, Daniel Jones, thank you for coming to hang out. Thanks. I won't take up your whole night. I'll let you go. But uh, appreciate you, Daniel Jones, president of CASA, uh, all around wonderful person. Goodbye, Daniel Jones. Bye. Goodbye. 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 I'm just going to kick you off. Bah. Yeah. Danielle Jones, look at that, stopping by for news and advocacy. She, she's just a, Danielle Jones is just a wonderful person. She's just one of my favorite people, so smart, so knowledgeable. I am uh, honored, honestly, to have her be my co-host on the TBN stream. We get, uh, you know, we get the news done over there on the TBN stream. So that's it for Super Chats, news and advocacy. I would, right now, man, we're way ahead of time. Let's open some mail. Where did my mail bumper go? Mail. Yeah. Almost made it back in time. Almost made it back in time. Even in a space, even in an astronaut costume with a with a astronaut helmet on, my wife is cute as fuck. You can't deny that. Huge shout out to you, Danielle Jones. Thank you for being here. Let's open some freaking mail. Uh, there is a few more guests that may pop on before the end of the stream, and we'll see how that goes. We're gonna save the face meat vape mail till the very end. Till the very end. I don't understand the long hair. Like, I get Snape that it looks cool, but, like, Snape, get a haircut. I don't want to. Get a haircut. I don't want to. Vape mail. Face me. Nope. Let's open the one we just got. This just came today from uh, where is uh, Steel Valley Vapors? Steel Valley Vapors. I didn't know you were sending anything, but now we have a thing to open. See, if I was a real wizard, I could just open this with my wand, you know? I could just have some sort of spell. Fuck yeah! Dan and Fuck yeah, Steel Valley Vapors. New hat. And it's hoodie! Fuck yeah, hoodie. Oh, fuck yeah, Steel Valley Vapors. Shout out to Will. Steel Valley Vapors. Uh, best damn vape shop in, in possibly the whole of the United States. One of the last real fucking vape shops. You sent me some ODB wraps. And I got some Steel Valley swag. Fuck yeah, hoodie. Oh, it's a zippy. Bro, you guys guys do good zippy hoodies? Thank you, Will. Thank you. My other Steel Valley Vapors hat had become super, like, dusty, dirty terribleness. Fuck yeah, Steel Valley. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Will. Shout out to Steel Valley Vapors. God damn it. What a great vape shop. What a great vape shop. I'm. Thank you. Thank you, Will. I had mentioned to Will that I needed a new hat, and he just out of the kindness of his own heart, sent it out to me. And that's just awesome. Let's have some beer, Snape. Drunk Snape, that's what you get tonight. You get slurring your speech, Snape. You get, you get the Snape that tells Dumbledore to fuck off. Hey, Dumbledore, fuck off. 
Potter, you piece of shit. Uh, let's see what's going on here. FedEx, all right. This is from Drip Social. Drip Social. Okay. Uh, I like flicking hair out of my face, man. I haven't done that in a really long time, you know? I used to have long hair, brah. Whoa! Mission! Holy shit! This is Mission 15. Mission 15 hooking it up with a mission orbit and alternate color polycarb tanks. Uh, red. Sorry about that burp. Blue. This looks like Ultim. What are you? I don't know what this is. There's some uh, parts. It looks like a drip tip for the mission or for the orbit. Parts, chimneys, battery wraps. I don't know what's in here. This is the only one that's a mystery to me. The rest are tanks. Oh! A mission switch. <gasps> I've never had a mission switch before. Oh no. Am I gonna have to put this on the on Golden Boy? This might actually go because it's silver. There's a silver mission switch. This might go on bluegrass. This might grow on bluegrass, but that means I have to ditch my stormtrooper panels, and I don't know that I want to do that. I know. I know. It's pretty black metal. The original reason that I bought this wig, if I'm being real honest, is was because I wanted to do corpse paint for like Halloween. I wanted to do the white face with black around the eyes and like long black hair and just, you know, black metal. It's okay. Didn't quite happen. It ended up being a Snape wig and shout out to my space, my space, my astronaut wife. She, we cut this wig. It was a really long wig, and we cut it short well, as like a Karen sort of Snape, you know, bob going on here just above the shoulders, you know. John McClane. Fuck yeah, mission. Fuck yeah, orbit. Is this a... Uh, I don't know why I'm opening this. It's the same orbit that I have. Oh, what a good bridge. What just a good, good bridge. You think I should put it on the green one? Put that mission switch on the green one? Uh, I'll take some storm. Here's the problem that the mission switch opens up. I've never had a mission switch on my billet box before. And anybody, so a mission switch are the square switches. I don't know, I remember what I just put it. But the, the mission switch are the square switches. It's not a round switch. And when you introduce that into your billet box ecosphere, it means that you can't use the same doors. So if I put a mission switch on this, I couldn't use this same clear door because it's round and not square for the mission switch. So the mission switch just complicates everything, but God, it looks so damn cool. It looks so damn cool. John McLean. Sally S, Die Hard. You gotta watch Die Hard. It's my wife's favorite movie. We, in, in this household, we have a thing called Die Hard Day, which is the day after Thanksgiving. It's a, tra it's a household tradition. It's a national holiday, I believe. And the day after Thanksgiving is the day we set up our Christmas tree, we set up our Christmas lights, and we watch Die Hard. We just watch Die Hard on a loop. We probably watch it three times in a row every Die Hard Day, every day after Thanksgiving. Oh my God, I'm so excited for that mission. I kind of want to just snake that orbit mission and keep it for myself and put it in another billet box. Because it's so good. Okay, shout out to you, Mission 15. Expelliarmus. That's the only... Wingardium Leviosa. That's the only thing I know. Ooh. Okay, um, let's open some more mail. Ah. Now this is a big box. Christmas.
Christopher. Is there a Christopher car in the house? Christopher, are you here tonight? Are you here, bro? We're opening your mailbox. It, it's a big package, bro. It's a big package. Always cut towards your Snape, not towards your... Bape? I don't know what rhymes with Snape. Nothing. Nothing rhymes with Snape. No. This feels like beer. It feels definitely heavy. This could be beer. This could be a multitude of things. Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. All right, wait. There's photographs. Skins for the Hana Mini? Wait, what? Wait, what, Christopher? Who's there? Oh, who's there? Who's a guest? Hey, we got a guest. Who, look who decided to show up. Good Lord. We're opening some vape mail. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Twisted Messes. <laughs> bro. What? What are you doing, bro? Sweet tank well, time. I'm, I'm having a seance, man. Oh, you're having a seance, bro? <laughs> It's working. What are you doing, Kent? Happy Halloween, bro. Happy Halloween, man. What are you doing, no. a seance there? Well, normally I don't do Halloween, so I decided to go balls to the wall this year. Though. You normally don't do Halloween. Okay. Yeah, and you, you convinced me to do it, so I figured I'd go full seance. I did. I tricked you into doing it. Do you normally celebrate Halloween, Kent? I don't have much of a soul, if you haven't noticed, as far as, like, uh, human conditions <laughs> and such. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Twisted Messes. That's Kent Hill. In fact, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, we got another uh, special guest here joining us this evening besides Kent Hill. Hang on, Kent. What are you What are you doing a seance for? Are you trying to summon something or just general evil witchcraft blasphemy kind of stuff? No, just trying to get more people to sue the FDA. Oh, getting more people to sue the FDA. That's a good... <laughs> That's a noble pursuit. That's a noble pursuit. It's dark dark. I like the uh, I like the armband. Kent, you're looking you're looking jacked these days, bro. I stopped working out. You're looking jacked. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so wait, what, oh yeah, that's right. You're seancing more people to sue the FDA. That's what it is. Yeah, what, I don't know. I made all that. But... Okay. I haven't thought this through at all. Look, well, I'm just in the middle of opening some vape mail. So you, I, I, you know, right. hang out. Do you not have a mission door? What? You don't have a mission door for your mission switch? No, I don't have any mission doors. Do you have a mission switch? Yeah, bro. You do? Yeah, you want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. Dude, you got to see this setup. It's really nice. Give me I want to see this setup. It's probably like... I'm guessing it's uh, some custom doors, like Bennett custom doors, like brass yeah. doors. Brass, it's a nickel plated brass. There, it's amazing. Okay, I want to see it. There's like a thousand dollars into this bill. This is really. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. While we wait for Kent, let's bring our third guest into... Oh, my God. We have the full panel uh, of guests right now. I'm going to bring in uh, our third guest. This is... Uh, who, who? Okay, we got... What? <laughs> what? What? Who, who even is this? Can we get any guesses in the chat? Can we get any guesses in the chat? Nope. That's Jess Marie. That's Jess Marie, DHD. Oh, my camera died. Okay, that's okay, because we have Kent and uh, mystery guest number one. Yeah, let's see this uh, billet box, Kent. You got the full screen, bro. You got the full screen. Yeah, dude. That's the mission switch right there. Oh, uh, that's it. Is that a Bennett Custom Tools door? Yeah, this thing's like a pound. It weighs a lot, does it? 
Yeah. But I'm a. Yeah, and uh, also the mission switch comes with that little plate for your deal. Yeah. It's pretty fancy. It's pretty fancy. For a very long time. It's pretty fancy. Oh, no. Here, let's get this out of here. Let's get... Uh... It's a fingerprint magnet, but generally my hands are really dry anyway. It doesn't matter. Looks good. Kent, are you a... Uh... Like a, oh, a a red-headed uh, Freddie Mercury? Is that what you're going for here? With the armband and everything? Uh, that's I wear this 24 hours a day. It checks oh, that's your whoop strap. Yeah. Yeah. What am I? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. But the thing is, like, you wear this mask long enough, it changes your personality. You know, Holy you crap. Say... Yeah. Okay, so Christopher... Christopher looks like he sent me a thousand different like retro vapes. Look at this. Hannah mods, bro. Did you ever have a Hannah mods? Is that really old school? Really old school. Never yeah, I used. Heard, I haven't heard the name for years. You've heard of it though, right? Yeah, absolutely. I you don't remember Hannah mods? Was it Holy like a, a DNA 30 or something? Yeah, it was like a DNA 20. Oh, yeah, it's old, old, yeah. That is a retro Hannah Mods. Never been used. Yeah, let's see. DNA. Let's max this out right now. Let's just see what this goes to. Oh, we blew past 20 watts. DNA 30? 30. DNA 30. Oh, For the D record, that's what I said. That's what you said was a DNA 30? Yeah, and you said 20. Okay. All right. I mean, well, it is a DNA bad, 30. Sorry. Fucking Hannah mods, dude. That is old school. And, dude, there's multiples in here. All right. So this is like a retro vaping treasure chest. There's Ego T tanks in here. There are cardamizers and cardamizer tanks. There is... Holy shit. Dude, I... This is... That? The Ego... The Evic... Do you remember the EVIC? Oh, seriously? Yeah, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. That was like, I remember 15 watts. I was like, holy shit, 15 watts. Yeah, 15 watts. That's crazy. That's 15... like three times as much as my favorite. I know. But there's Hannah Mods. There's that. Wait. Wait, there's even more. Bo Look at this bag of Bogue cartomizers. Look at all these cartomizers. That's an insane amount of cartomizers. Dude, this is apocalypse level vaping stuff. Like, it is. It really is. A like power charger. You'd be in business. Man. What is even this? What is the telescope? What is the it's telescope? A, it's similar to the Evic. I think it's a regular. Where did we get all No, no, it's a mech. It's a Segeli oh. mech mod. Oh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Segeli mech. 2013, Yeah, 2013, easily. Right uh, did you ever use a Segeli Mac? They were no, like crazy that, dangerous. Out of my price range. <laughs> <laughs> out of my... It was my... like $80, absurd. Segeli Max, Dude, that's a trip. And there's a Sapor RDA. There is a Coil Art Mage in here. The there crazy are... thing is that company used to clone that mech that's the crazy thing Segelli, yeah they did like a high-end mech they used to clone it well and segeli were like clones of themselves like they would clone other modders that were cloning them it would make it made no sense <laughs> it so made weird. no sense dude those were the days man the wild west <gasps> oh see this did you ever use the avid vapor low resistance atomizers were uh, you around for them bad. I was pro tank was my first nice addy. Oh, okay. Yeah, then pro tank. Okay, yeah. Pro I tank. Went straight from to pro tank, so I think I missed that. And there's notes on everything. Extra batteries, external charger for the Hanya for the Hana minis. Silica. Silica wick. Oh. A whole shit ton of it, dude. A sh this is more silica wick than any human needs ever. In the history of anything. <laughs> the lifetime supply 
if we'd still been using that since 2013. Since 2013. There is a Pro so Tank 3. There's a Pro Tank 3 and a Smoke Tech RSST RDTA. Yeah, I've never even seen that. The, uh, the Smoke RSST was like the most popular RDTA uh, in its time. Like, in its time. It was crazy popular. It's just a dumb RDTA. <laughs> it was yeah. terrible. Like, honestly, it was really bad. It's like I go W or I go L time period, right? Yeah, it is. It is I go L time period. Oh, wait, where the hell did Eric go? This is Eric, Vinyl and Vapor. <laughs> where did he go? I just ditched him out. Eric! Say hi, Eric. <laughs> Everybody knows it's Eric, Vinyl and Vapor. A crown, like the Crown One? Did you ever use a Crown One tank? Yeah, the original crown tank. Yeah, the crown. Yeah, yeah, those were those were actually killer. I was so surprised. Isn't that UL crown? Yeah, UL crown. Yeah, dude, that's the first time that I was like, oh shit, UL is a Chinese company, but they make good stuff. Yeah, they do. They the were the crown yeah. Was, that was actually killer. It was game changing, honestly, because Aspire was the only Aspire and Kanger, and then Crown came out with that. It was like, wow, it's even better. Honestly. Holy shit. Yeah, the crown was kind of a game changer. I didn't really like it very much. An original Mi 1. Like, that's pretty rare. An original Mi 1? That's pretty rare. Yeah, if there was anywhere to legally sell that, I'd say fucking post it up, bro. Yeah, post it up. Legally, <laughs> yeah, there's nowhere. Nowhere can legally sell that. Dude, nowhere can that? legally sell that. That is the largest duck mask I've ever seen. It is a crazy duck mask. Cool. Eric, let's talk about your duck mask, bro. Christopher, thank you for this immense retro vape box. I can't wait to go through all of this stuff. Dude, we have enough retro vapes to last us for months. Months right now. Months. Eric, <laughs> Vinyl and Vapor representing the, uh, what is that, a Wookiee duck? Is that a Wookiee duck? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is either. How did you? You said put on a costume. It is a costume. It is technically <laughs> that is a costume. Yeah. <laughs> that is a costume. Holy shit. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna go do a bio break, and I'm gonna leave you guys here by yourselves. Is that okay? Oh my god, that's a real gamble, man. Yeah. It's you guys right, control. You go. guys are in charge of the vlog for the next so, minute to thirty seconds. What you guys might not know is that me and Eric are both really into cardiovascular activities. <laughs> so this guy, he bikes like 100 miles at a time, 22 mile an hour average, like insanity. And, uh, and, Ken, and, Ken, and Ken rose in the air. Can, you know? Can I take this off? Well, at least the mouth part. I can't hear a word you're saying. <sighs> he left <laughs> for 12 minutes when he went through that box. <laughs> you were just sitting there waiting, dying. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even on the. I wasn't even in there. I was sitting in here, sweating and 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 not breathing. Does it have a mouth hole to vape from? It has a nose hole, but what you don't, what, what you need to understand, like I can't breathe through my nose. Uh, That's better. <sighs> I think this would have sufficed, honestly, for a costume. No, I needed to. I needed to use the fucking duck mask. When am I gonna ever use it again? <laughs> That's true. You pretty much said once in a lifetime use. It. I'm saying that's yeah, a once in a lifetime thing. It was a gift. I, I had to wear it. The dust. Oh, you know, that was your first time wearing it. Yeah, just sent it to me. It just came in the mail randomly. I don't know what the hell oh. she's thinking. It needed to see the light of day for sure. For sure. <laughs> This was the opportunity. There is another guest uh, here waiting in the green room. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for it? Beecher Howard. Hola, Beecher Howard. Oh, sweet mask, bruh. What's up? Sup? Sup? What's up, dude? What's up, bro? <laughs> you haunting my nightmares? What's up? What's up? Are you drinking your beer through a straw? Oh, yeah. see, I told Time you. To do it. They used to have no hole in that mouth. I told you to cut a hole. You got a mask? Yeah, I bought this mask from China like three months ago. <laughs> you bought it in China? I bought it from China, and I actually forgot oh. I bought it until it showed up like three months later. 
I gotta put the mask back on. China. I was like, you went to China and didn't tell me? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Last week. Last week. Last week you went to China. Assholes live forever, Beecher Howard. Fuck you. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, Beecher yeah. Howard. Happy Halloween, Beecher Howard. Happy Halloween. Let me let me ask you, bro. Do you like do you guys celebrate Halloween or you like Halloween people? Did you grow up with Halloween? It's yeah. like a thing in your life. Oh. This is interesting. Yeah, until okay. I turned like 17 and got into drugs and alcohol and Oh yeah. Like, yeah. You know. And then that's it. You're like, I don't need a Freddy Krueger mask anymore until I'm in my 30s I didn't have at a least. Use for it. <laughs> but now, because of the Grim Green stream, fuck yeah, yeah, you do. Well, here's the thing. We're in the middle of opening some vape mail, so I appreciate you guys coming out. Happy Halloween. Wait, wait, wait. you just asked about our childhood Halloween. You got some really interesting shit going on here. Oh, let's hear it. it. Let's hear it, Beach. Or let's hear it. We can. Beach, put your tongue away. Can Can you get closer to a microphone? It. Out of curiosity. Oh, is my mic out? Uh, it's just low. No, I can hear you. I can hear oh, you. It's oh, just dude, low. You know? No, no, no. I got I to gotta switch down here. I believe I'm not looking at it. But I think I can. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> is that exactly the same? I don't know what you're doing right now. Is that better? Is that better? It's kind of doing it for me. Speak. Look at, look at, his, sho- look at his shoulders. Talk shoulders. About shoulders. He's so jacked. When did Kent get so fucking jacked? Nick, did you shave your whole face? I, I did. I've seen you without, without any... Uh, I know it's weird. Without any goat Shaved stuff. His face. It's uh, it feels weird. I have no facial hair. Can you hear me? <laughs> is my mic fixed or is it just as bad? Uh, you still sound quiet, but you know it's okay, whatever. Here, I'm just gonna unplug the microphone. I think I'm out of batteries. Is this any better? <laughs> is, that is, better? is that worse? It doesn't sound any different. It actually, sounds a little bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It actually sounds a little bit worse. I'm probably But Kent, I want to hear about your childhood Halloween. Well, you complained. You said you couldn't hear me at all. And now I'm freaking out about it. Oh my, it's too late. I can't even... Wait, setting. <laughs> Is that better? That's better. Doesn't really sound very any different. Holy shit. Okay, fuck it. Hopefully people can hear me. Let's hear about your Halloween story. Well, I grew up super poor, so I've never purchased the Halloween costume my entire life. Like, so my mom would just find stuff in the closet, put it on me, maybe with some makeup, and send me off to school. So one year, and also she was like super hardcore Christian, so she wouldn't allow me to do scary things. Uh huh. So I was uh, for one year at school of Oliver Twist from like the Charles Dickens novel, uh-huh. which is just like an old hat and like baggy clothes to look like a street urchin so sure sure you just told me you were practicing that story with me today yeah i read it by <laughs> you seem to like it a lot nick seems <laughs> you to told me that story earlier like even a little bit okay so i should have practiced it a third time before i delivered it here live on the vlog i, I feel really like yeah maybe you should decisions. have that's okay look it's not like i didn't have my mom made all my halloween costumes growing up like if I one year I was Dracula and it's like we didn't go to the store to buy anything. We used fabric and she made me like sewed me a cape and like sewed me a, a Dracula outfit, you know. Yeah, that sounds awesome. But you didn't get to be Dracula. No. No. Well, the closest I could do was a ninja, but that was a little bit scary. Ninja's good though. Ninja's a fine. There was one year I wanted to be a, a Star Trek, like a Star Trek outfit, and then at the last minute I chickened out because I thought it was too boring, and I became I was and went as a werewolf because so I thought that was cooler than Star Trek. Oh man! I know. How old were you? Let's see. I was eleven or twelve. Oh. I was really into Star Trek. That makes sense. I mean, you still kind of put a lot of. Emphasis on what other people think about you. I do. I do put a lot of emphasis <laughs> on what other, I know. It was like I was worried. Like when I sat here in my Snape costume with a goatee, I was like, "That's not Snape, bro. You have to shave your face." And so I shaved my face just to complete the outfit, and I think it really worked out. Dude, oh, yeah, I, I, should, I wrote in the, co- in the comments <laughs> earlier is you should have just used a bald mask. A bald mask? What is that? Yeah. That's not a real thing. (laughs) Is that a real thing? 
He has a bald mask on his chin to hide his hair. Whoa, what am I going to put a bald mask on my face? <laughs> That's not a real thing, Kent. Or just use silly putty and form it into your beard. You know, it's flesh tone. Yeah. I mean, I get that. Listen, I got some vape mail in the meantime from Overdrip. Have you guys ever tried any of the Overdrip stuff? Testing grounds? He does uh, custards. He does like a, a pear custard. I don't know what that... I think that's a lemon a lemon custard in there. The, the, the butterscotch custard. Strawberry custard. Overdrip's testing grounds. He makes, honestly, some of the best custards that I've had, like, in recent memory. I love custard. You're a custard guy? I love custard. You love a custard? Here, I'm going to send you one of these bottles, because he has a... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see you in two weeks, so just save me one. I'll save you a bottle. That's right. I am going to see you what, in two weeks. What, is there a weeks. party? And Kent and I weren't invited? Hey. I was invited. I was invited. Kent was invited. <laughs> <laughs> That's so messed up. Well, That's yeah. so messed up. I'm out of here. Hey, Kent was invited. <laughs> His mask is hiding the tears. It was the a, butterscotch. It was I know. A casual, like sobbing. Like it was a ca very casual. It's just, it, you know, it's a casual thing. Look, and yes, Beecher, there's going to be another get together that you, oh, you should told be me a about part that. of. You just didn't give me the dates. Okay. That's what it was, right? Right? Yeah. Right? You need to for Beecher, can you vape through that? Can you vape through that mask? Yeah, please, Can you vape through the mask, through the mask? Oh, that was yep. pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. You gonna haunt me in my dreams? I feel like the left side of the quadrant of the screen is just real judgy. Yeah. Real judgy? Yeah, it's like me and you are just commenting on like how his vapors come out of his mask. <laughs> <laughs> Beach, vape again. Vape again. I want to see what it looks like. Does it come out your eye holes? No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't have a mask on. But yeah, I always felt awkward at Halloween, so I, I stopped celebrating after like uh, 17 years old. Yeah, I get that. I was really like, oh, it doesn't even come out your eyes. No, All this right. mask is really tight on my face. Good. 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 <laughs> All right. Hang on. I got some vape mail here from uh, Jason in Winnipeg, Canada. Jason in Winnipeg, Canada. Let's see. There's a note attached. There's some literature here. Oh, these are coils. Oh, fuck yeah, Jason. Ooh, Jason, thank good. you so much for allowing me to do this. I have uh, here two sets of Nichrome 90 dual coil aliens that will work both great for a mech and regulated. The other set is my absolute favorite build for the Wicked Bridged. Works fantastic Ooh. in all versions, including the V2. Don't be scared by the three millimeter. I'm scared by the three millimeter. If you enjoy, I would appreciate some love. Appreciate the work you do, man. Fuck yeah. MC Resistance Wire. It's MC underscore Resistance Wire on Instagram. He sent me some coils. He said, dude, it amazes me how much you work and are constantly putting into advocacy and sharing important information as well. Keep it up real as fuck with your reviews. Love you, man. Sincerely, Jason MC Resistance Wire up there in uh, Winnipeg, Canada. The bridged coil works best right around 40 watts. Bro, Jason, thank you so much. Coils is one of those things I'm never going to say no, no to. Unless it's from Beecher. I just but I realized got, everyone encourages you to no, to no to Beecher's coils? I'll, I say no to Beecher's coils. I say wow. no. I don't want Beecher's coils. I'm just kidding. Right, Actually, Jeez, my favorite thing that Beecher yeah. did... My favorite thing that Beecher did was the wire sticks where you could wrap your own wires. That was my oh, favorite. I love those. Those Why were good. Why that? He's, he's discontinued those. Why'd Look, you discontinue Beecher, those? Don't be pressured into restarting those wires. Restart those, Beecher. <laughs> <laughs> restart. Like, hell, no. Those are my favorite. The, reason. the turd sticks where you could wrap your own like five wrap, six wrap. It was good. Those were good. Yeah, super safe. Yeah, super safe. Well, look, how could somebody mess themselves up? They can't mess themselves up 
well, doing like a, a, two wrap. a one do, wrap. A one wrap? Who would do a yeah, one wrap? The measure is Sick boy, probably, if you think about it. Parallel one wrap. Sick boy or Jason, they'd probably do two wraps. <laughs> All right, well, this is the last package of the vape mail, and it's hard to explain, like, the gravity of this package. So have I told you guys about face meat? Are you guys hip to face meat? Did I tell you about face meat? So face yeah. meat is a fella that just... He comments on vlogs, he comments on videos, and all he ever says is dry oatmeal. That's all he's ever said. That's all the man's ever said is dry oatmeal. He shows up on streams occasionally, he shows up on videos sometimes, and he always says the same thing. Dry oatmeal. Dry oatmeal, dry oatmeal. I know nothing about this person other than their name is Face Meat, and they say dry oatmeal over and over and over again. He kind of became like a celebrity on my YouTube, like just by saying one thing over and over again. Well, after months, <laughs> pe people love the tongue, Beecher. Keep doing the keep doing yeah, the tongue. Keep doing that. Yeah, yeah, the tongue. <laughs> oh my God, that's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, the tongue. I love the sun. So, after months and months, this is a package from Face Meat. If it's not fucking dry oatmeal, I'd be pissed. Right? I feel like, yeah, it oh, has to be. I'm expecting dry oatmeal. Like a big box of just dry oatmeal. That's what I'm expecting. Oh. Uh, so, we're going to get into this. Just unpackaged, dumped in a box. Just just what? If it is oatmeal, if it is oatmeal, you should agree to eat it all alive. Tonight? No, no, yeah, dry. Time. That's insane. Right. Like later though. I should eat all Every, the dry oatmeal. There he is. Uh, there he is in chat. How did we, how did I know he was gonna show up? There he is. Face meat. Dry oatmeal. Sitting on a toilet. I'm opening your package, face meat. This is a pretty momentous occasion for the Grim Green vlog uh stream here. Oatmeal. Oh, meal. I'm glad you guys are all here to celebrate it. Oh my god. It it's, fucking is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Best Let's gift ever. Try oatmeal. <laughs> this is actual is genius. <laughs> this is actually dry oatmeal. This is dry oatmeal. Do one spoonful now. One spoonful yeah. now? Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah. I, ro I rolled over my robe, you see. Do a handful, because yeah. don't go get a spoon. Just do a handful. A handful <sighs> is dangerous. All right. Just a palmful. Oh, okay, okay. There's some things. Uh, it says open me last. All right, we'll open that last. We'll open this. It's, it says not trash. Uh, there is a Slim Jim. Slim Jim? To wash it down with. Yeah, snap into a Slim Jim. You just snap into it, you know? That's what I've heard. There's uh, these feel. Did you send me beer, face meat? Did okay. you send me beer? Oh! It's whatever. It's just some of my favorite beer of all time. Samuel Smith, the Tadcaster, the oatmeal stout. You had this beer, Beecher? I have. That's wet oatmeal. I've had that. that it is. It is wet oatmeal. It is wet oatmeal beer. Yeah, that's a good one. Oatmeal stout. That's a good one. Is there oatmeal vape liquid? Because that would complete it. Is that what you want to vape, Kent? I want you to vape that. <laughs> All this other stuff. Pairing it with the beer. Exactly. I want you to vape that. And... East Brother Beer Co. What's that? That's another oatmeal stout. So far, we've got oatmeal and two oatmeal stouts. Two oatmeal stouts from Face Meat, Mr. Dry Oatmeal. All right. This doesn't feel like a beer. This feels like... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is cool. Holy fuck. Cassettes? These are cassettes, bro. Subhumans. Fuck yeah. That's fucking rad. 
What's that? Husker oh, Du, Land Speed Record. That's a great album. I think the I God love Face Me. Dude, The Misfits on cassette. Now he's just showing up. Earth AD on cassette <laughs> and <laughs> The Exploited, Totally Exploited on cassette. That's fucking cool. Come on, that's cool. Do you guys listen to cassettes still? You have a tape no. player in the house? <laughs> I don't even have one anymore. You don't have a tape player? You just stream all your music like a savage? Dude, yeah. face me. Come in clutch. This has to be a beer. This could be the last beer. Yo, Dark Star. Guess, guess what it is? It's an Imperial Oatmeal Stout. Face meat, not, not wavering from the oatmeal theme. Staying very on theme with all of the oatmeal stouts. Three oatmeal stouts. Hang on, but wait, there's more face meat. Dude, this is a wrap. <laughs> I kind of can't believe this. You, I don't know if you guys understand what big of a deal it is opening the face meat mail. <coughs> the face meat mail. Uh, yeah. uh, this is a seven inch. It can't be anything other than a seven inch. It has to be a seven inch. That's the only thing that's this size. Yep. And it is Dead Kennedys, Nazi Punks, Fuck Off on vinyl. That's rad. That's, that's cool. rad. You a Dead Kennedys fan, Eric? Sure. Who doesn't love the Dead Kennedys? Holy shit. What the hell? That is fucking rad. Dead Kennedys, Nazi punks, fuck off. On vinyl. Boosh. That's rad. Nazi punks, fuck off. I love this, face meat. You knew I would love this. Do you love this, Kent? It's <laughs> pretty amazing. I love it. Eric's, Eric's on board. I'm fucking stoked. Beecher's I drunk. I love face meat. I love face meat. I'm already a fan of Face Meat, even though I don't know who Face Meat is. He's a good guy. All right, we're opening this last. Oh, you're not even to the last. I didn't last. I this is the last was. thing here. What? Bro, how do... So, my favorite band of all time is Guar. This is a Guar guitar pick that's a Flatus Maximus guitar pick. And Corey Smoot, who was Flatus Maximus, he died in 2018. And this is his guitar pick. That's incredible. That's incredible. That's this is wasted on you guys, but I'm a huge Guar fan. That is. Wasted. That's incredible. It's not wasted on Eric. It's Eric not wasted on culture. Eric because he, he gets it. Musical person. He is. He is. The one thing about Eric, like, look, if we're going to talk about Eric while he's right here in front of us, Eric's just cool. Like, there's, n there's not a cooler person than Eric. When you see Eric, you're just like, fuck, that guy's cool. I wish I could be as cool. <laughs> I wish I could be as cool as Eric in a duck mask. It's just not the case. Some people just you can never home. be as cool. Damn it, face meat. That was awesome. Thank you. That's the best package you've ever got. That was a kick-ass package. Yes, it really is. Those cassette about... tapes are all, like already worth their weight in gold. And Wait, I got a. Did you like? Did you like Christmas as a kid? Uh, of course. Who doesn't love Christmas as a kid? Okay. I mean, did you really love Christmas? Everybody loves Christmas. Okay. I mean, did you? Organize your entire life so you have Christmas every single week. No, not necessarily, but who doesn't love Christmas? Like, everybody loves Christmas. Yeah, but I wouldn't organize my whole life 
to get a Christmas celebration every year. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I organize my whole life for a Christmas. Like, you see, now you're just putting words in my mouth. Yeah, what, are you, what are you getting at, Kent? What are you trying to say, <laughs> Kent? Yeah, what are you getting I'm at? I'm trying to say this whole vlog thing, people are like, oh, it's for the free babe stuff. No, no, no. It's for the Christmas celebration every week during the mail segment. Yeah. Well, who doesn't love vape mail? Would you be, let me ask you this, Kent. Would you be upset if every week you had to get on YouTube and open a bunch of gifts and mail and packages? Would that upset you? Yes. Absolutely. It would upset. Okay. okay. <laughs> that is an obligation I refuse to walk right into that one. Yeah. I don't think that would upset you. And I don't think that would upset Beecher either. Okay. Maybe not Beecher for me for sure. Havada Kedavra, Havada Kedavra, Havada Kedavra. You all just what? died. Sorry. <laughs> that just straight up happened. I Havada Kedavra to all your asses. I'm already dead. <laughs> it's not funny. Dude, uh, face me. Thank you. Uh, really great vape mail. Really great vape mail. Face me. And I got a bunch of over uh, overdrip testing grounds, which I'm really excited about. He honestly makes some of the best custards that exist and he does a strawberry custard that i am uh i'm really excited about in fact i might mix this into this week's very random Whoa. liquid tasting which we might do Ooh. freaking i don't know right now do you want to do it right now should i do a random yeah, liquid tasting I what do you guys want to do to actually random because if you're going to call it random and you have it planned ahead of time it's far from random no no here's the thing it's random now, Kent. It's random. Like, actually, actually random. I put a poll in the chat, to, and everybody votes. So it's oh. whoever gets voted the most. That's the liquid that wins now. That's I technically don't, not random at all. Where's this poll at? It's in that's the chat. Good, Hang on. It's in the chat. Good. We're going to get there in a second. Let me do. Uh, <laughs> let me do some of these super chats that came in, because I have a feeling some oh. of them might be directed at you. Okay, Super Chats. Okay. We left off with Casey. Norse Vapor says, greetings from Norway. Fuck yeah, Norway. I pitched a Norwegian beer to you. Not sure if you saw it, but I'd like to see you try out Mac Smoked Stout. Mac Smoked Stout from Norway. All right, Norse Vapor. I'm on it. I'm all over it. I love Norway. How do you not love Norway? And I would love to try some Norwegian beers. That's goals. That's goals is to get to Norway. Beecher, you want to go to Norway with me? Fuck yeah, dude. Let's Fuck go. yeah, Norway. That's where we're going. All right. Dave Lloyd, uh, my I bangle cat me. said, give Nick money or I will get fatter. <laughs> so take the cash before she eats it. Dave Lloyd, we need to get your cat and New Wave Dave's cat together. I don't know. I feel like magic could happen there, uh, Dave Lloyd. Uh, Dixon Ciderbush says, I was hanging with New Wave Dave the other day. Yeah, he excused himself from the room. He went to tuck in his cat for the night. The cat whispers to New Wave Dave, Davey, check for monsters under my bed. He looks underneath for his amusement of the cat, and then he sees him, another cat, under the bed, staring back at New Wave Dave, quivering and whispering, give Nick five bucks. I love the fan fiction that comes out of New Wave Dave's cat's <laughs> existence. That's just one of the best parts of this vlog is this life that <laughs> New Wave's Dave's cat lives. It makes Wait, no for $5, sense. Wait, you get to write all of that? Yeah, well, you know, that was actually like a $15 super chat. He spent five bucks each, each chat. Listen, Dixon Ciderbush had a story to tell, and he doesn't care that it cost him $15 to tell that story about New Wave Dave's cat. Not at all. Uh, Liam, Liam 757, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he says, oh, wow, I caught a live. First time as an official cool kid hitting my RDA for vaping. Thanks, Beecher. Yeah. RDA for vaping. Thanks, Beecher. Uh, he says, uh, and a Nightmare 25 with Vlog Day in it. You all look rad. Happy Halloween from Straya from Oz. Happy Halloween uh, to Straya to Australia. Uh, Got an RDA for vaping all the way in Australia, Beecher. All the way around the world. 
You're you're international now. You're an international businessman. Yeah, it's, there. it's like if you took the globe and you spun it, and you had pepper, and you're sprinkling it out of a shaker. Yeah. That's how many RDA for vapings there are. Yeah. The yeah. There's yeah. a lot of RDA for vapings out there. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> like, yeah. Just hey, pepper the world. Beecher, while I have you here for a second, is there any tea that you wanted to spill about maybe the RDA for vaping with a, a version two? I've heard rumors that there's a version two in the works, maybe. Is there anything you wanted to spill some tea about that, maybe? To my viewers who love your RDA, by the way. Yeah, it's right here. Oh! He's got a V2 on him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. So we're, it's yeah, we're doing we're doing final testings. Final testing. Gotta make sure everything's up to par. You know. I don't want any bad emails. I don't want to hear about it. So we're going to get this one right. Yeah. Well, look, you got the first one pretty right. You know, it seems to be quite the popular RDA, Beecher. Yeah, it was like 89% good. 89%? You're unsatisfied yeah. with 89%? I'm unsatisfied with 11%. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nick, let Does Danielle back in. I would be too. What's yeah. that, Eric? Let Danielle back in. Let Danielle back in? <laughs> Do I have a guest in the guest room? Can I add a fifth? Per there she is. Oh, oh, Danielle oh, Jones, right. Iron Man. Sorry, I didn't know. No, Dang. We have multiple. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's cool. What? Okay, what? that's cool. What? That's cool. You win. Danielle Jones wins. That wins. Do it again. What? That's cool. Mine doesn't make. Mine doesn't do that. Mine doesn't do that. <laughs> okay, that's cool, Danielle. Wait, where did you get that? Where was this earlier during news and advocacy? You said that Eric. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. You said that Eric Girl. had an Iron Man mask, so I didn't want to wear one because I thought oh, he shit. was going to have it. <laughs> we got two uh, Iron Men. And you're the duck. You should have had the duck mask. I'm probably yeah, no, I have to have put the headphones mask. over it. The Sorry. headphones over the Iron Man mask. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but they're... <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool-ass <laughs> Iron Man mask. Yeah, yeah I won't. My husband, uh, he got it. I think uh, he's not in here. I think he got it from like a prop house or something. It was pretty expensive, as I understand it. Yeah, worth it. Worth yeah. it. I, I mean, mean, come on. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool and the eyes light up yeah i can do red or white that's rad or off or off no white also, white's cool it, it does do a uh, voice command let me try it hang on hey jarvis open the mask shut the fuck up hey jarvis hey jarvis open, open the mask, the mask. No. Watch. so oh, no, sorry right. that is witchcraft that is witchcraft and wizardry. You're an expensive date. That's all I'm saying. Witchcraft. Wow. I mean. Iron Man. Yeah, I can't imagine how much that costs. What are the odds that we got Freddy Krueger, Freddy Mercury, and two Iron Mans and Severus Snape all packed into the Grim Green vlog? This is pretty incredible. Well, I'm going to let you guys take over. I'm going to go take a bio break. So say what, what you know, you do what you want. One. I know. I have to take another one. Old man. Where the, what is it? Okay. It means he has to pee. I, I figured it out, Kent. Thanks. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it sounded like you were yeah. about to say, what's a bio break? You, you, you had like your hand was, along. you had like exasperation hand. You're like, he has to pee. Yeah. He has God. to pee. Let him pee. <laughs> All right. What don't you understand? Leave him alone. Ah. I'm an ah. active talker. Ooh. Oh. You realize how we mess up really unsanitary. This thing is full of liquid. I don't even know what it, what kind of liquid it is. Yeah, it's fucking hot in this mask. <sighs> Dude, I couldn't it's breathe in the duck. In the duck. Can you actually see through that, Danielle? Yeah, I can. It's better with the lights uh, off. Yeah. That's crazy. I can see better. Oh, that's, that slid right off my face. I'll tell you that. Oh, you're just waiting for Nick to leave to just go full naked face? Oh, dude. 
I haven't talked to Danielle in months. Hi, Danielle. I know. I saw all of you, and I was like, if I put on a new costume, can I come back in? You should have been in here the whole time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Should have never left. Should have never well, left. You Nick was like, never you know, left. advocacy's over. You can go. And I was like, oh. Go away, Daniel Jones. Go away. <laughs> That's a <laughs> really good Rickman. I, you know, I've been practicing like literally all day. I took like a half hour long shower today. And all I did the whole time was like, hello and welcome. Welcome. I feel there's not there's not enough emphasis put on your impressions across the board. You're pretty That's good true. with impressions. Pretty spot on. I've been I've working always on said the, that, yeah. the Rickman for a while. The Rickman. The Rickman's good. John McClain. Plus he was I mean he was Hans in Die Hard. Come on. Yeah. Alan Rickman. Hans. Hans. Everybody remembers Die Hard. I think we were doing some super chats that came in. Um Let's see. There was one from Joe that said, Hey, dudes, your costumes look sick. Happy Halloween, you guys. Hope you have a great time and make it foggy as shit. Much love from the UK. Much love from the backwards-ass United States of America to the progressive tobacco harm reduction thinking United Kingdom. What's up? <laughs> What's it like living in that vapor's paradise over there? How's that feel? Probably feels pretty good. Vapor Haze in with the super chat says, Happy Halloween, my dudes. Shout out to my two favorite humans, Eric and Beecher. Did you hear that? Not you. Not you. Not me. Not me. Not Freddy Krueger. Not Freddy Mercury. Yeah, not, not Iron Man. Not me or Danielle either. So nope. whatever. Not Kent yeah, or Danielle. We'll make our own club. Yeah. yeah. We'll make our own club. Danielle wasn't in the room at the time. I saw that one come in. That's true. She wasn't yeah. in the room, so she technically, that's right. Maybe right. she's included well, in that. Love for all you guys. No screaming while the bus is in motion. Stay spooky. Appreciate that, Vapors Haze. Frames Janklin in with the super chat that says, okay, LBC is lemon cake butter cream. Okay, that sounds amazing. He's talking about the overdrip liquids here. Lemon cake butter cream, pear cream cheese Danish? Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, how good does that sound? Pear cream cheese Danish, uh, peanut butter chocolate cheesecake, and peanut butter chocolate, there it is, peanut butter chocolate cheesecake. Look, I'm impressed by all of those. I want to try all of those frames, Janklin. Hope you're doing good, buddy. Matt Sinister says, uh, face meat is in violation of using Howard Stern's intellectual property George Takei said dry oatmeal in 2008, and Fred uses it as a sound bite still. Okay, look, I'm not trying to get into any legal disputes here. Yeah. With Give the guy a fucking dry oatmeal, all right? Just let him have dry oatmeal. Yeah. I'm Freddy Krueger. Beecher, have you watched, like, the Freddy Krueger movies recently? Uh, yeah, I watched the first one last week with the kids. Hey, me too. Did That's you? cool. I watched the first three. Oh, nice. Yeah, The Dream Wait, Warriors is really bad. Movies? It's not a yeah. good movie. No, we we watched the original uh, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, first Halloween, mm. uh, and then the Jason movie. I made the kids watch all of them. All the oh yeah, good, good. Did you watch the, the new? Uh, good dad. Did you watch Halloween Kills, the new Halloween? I started no. it. Shut it up. Uh, it's pretty good. I heard like it was it? absolutely horrible. It's really bad. Here's the problem. It's terrible, but I like it. It's really good because I just like Mike Meyer. I like Michael Myers, and I liked the 2018 Halloween, and this kind of picks up right where that left off. And so I was like, yes, give me more overly strong Michael Myers, like unkillable Michael Myers. That's yeah. all Halloween is, and the new one is that. It's like every horror movie trope that exists is in this movie. Is he really yeah. dead? Oh no, he's not. Of course he's not. Right. He slammed he's your in head closet. into the ground yeah. like 18 he's times. He's in the closet yeah. behind you. He's in the closet behind you. Yeah, exactly. So it's really good. It's really good. Did you guys watch that shit when you were kids? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, I couldn't do it. I was so petrified. You never watched horror movies? Lean forward, Kent. Get closer to your microphone. Fucking, I don't have a microphone. I think it's out of batteries. Oh, that could be. You didn't watch horror movies as a kid? I was terrified of horror movies. It would traumatize me for months at a time. I couldn't the, so, me too. This first horror movie that I watched when I was like 11 was uh, Pet Cemetery. 
and it gave me oh nightmares for months. <sighs> Fuck that, That's still scary. That movie's still scary. Pet Cemetery? I think my first was Children of the Corn. Oh, Children of the Corn? That's a good movie. I watched it recently, and it was... I don't know what I was scared of. It was so bad. Yeah. When I was little, right? Well, that's the thing. You watch them now, and you're like, oh, that's so corny and obviously dumb. Like... I like. I still like horror movies. I really like horror movies. I I don't... I like being scared. Like, we went to a... Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. And the whole point of that is you just go there to be scared. Like there's people who just try to scare you all the time. And you go through these haunted mazes and it's just people trying to scare you. It's a great. All night did long, you're just that, terrified. Did I, did, I, did I get out of there before that one? Well, you have to tuck that whole mask in. That's like a... That's I know, it's like a full torso mask. Wow. Yeah, Does it have nipples? Get, it's really believable. You got to get three TSAs. You have to make it believable. Does it have nipples? Does it have nipples? <laughs> Do you guys ever go to like haunted houses? Oh, yeah. Haunted yeah. houses rule. Yeah. The seems. Halloween Horror Nights has a bunch of like haunted house oh, yeah, mazes Halloween. like set up. Like they had a Texas Chainsaw haunted house and a Exorcist haunted house and uh, the Haunting of Hill House haunted house. Is really cool. The Haunting on Hill House. That movie scared the shit out of me as a kid. Did it really? The original one. There's a series now that I haven't got into, but this was the, the, how, the horror movie was based, or the, the the haunted house was based on it, and it was my favorite one. It was really cool. It was really cool. And it's mostly like, it's so formulaic when you go to Universal Studios because it's like, oh, look, a big dark hallway. I wonder if anybody's going to jump out and scare me. Oh, maybe. And then, of course, you walk down the hallway, and even though you're expecting it, it still scares the shit out of you. Someone will, like a zombie, will just jump out from behind a wall, and it's like strobe lights and, ah, like screaming sounds. It's terrifying. It's the most fun you'll ever have. It's great. Do you like it? Does, sometimes does Casey, like, hide behind like, something and jump out? No, no. She never goes to Halloween Horror Nights with me. No, I go with my buddy Jerry house, and... and like- and his family. We wake up to make coffee and she's behind the counter. She jumps up and scares the shit out of you. <laughs> no, she hates that. Uh, okay. She hates being October scared. 31st? There's been a few times like in the house where I've hidden from her and scared her and it's like it's caused a big fight. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm the same way. I hate it. You don't so like being much. scared? In your own house? No, you're, you're comfortable. You're This is my house. I know exactly what's going to happen in my house. You walk somewhere and someone jumps out and fucking scares you. (laughs) You go go to blows over that. It's it's not okay. It is. It's fun, though. (laughs) Like, it's fun to be scared. I don't know. Like, growing up watching horror movies, it's fun. I I see literally every scary movie that comes out. Yeah. Ever. Unless it looks like total garbage. Even Even the kind of garbage ones. You still watch watch them a little bit, right? You still watch them a little bit and you go, wow, this is really bad. Horror is my favorite genre. Horror is my jam. I love horror movies. I love being scared. I love feeling like unsettling and and terrifying. Like it's just as big of like the human experience to me as being happy or being. (gasps) Ah! You tried to scare me. Is it a space pickle? Here, let let my space wife host the vlog. Ooh. Space wife. Whoa. Makes me want to marry an astronaut. I married an astronaut. It's pretty cool. Uh, She picked, look at her dance. Yeah, dancing astronaut. That's the dancing wife, addressed as an astronaut. Look at her go. (laughs) (laughs) Just moonwalking through my trash. This is the this is my wife's favorite Halloween costume she's ever had. Space pickle. It's space pickle. That's right. Rick pickle. Martin, it is space pickle. Space pickle. Space pickle. Space pickle. Say hi to the oh vlog, everybody. God. Everybody, hi. this is my wife, there Casey she Pickle. She's never been hi, on the pickle. stream, I don't think. Nope. She never has. Really? Nope. I hide. You look good. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's really good. It's yeah. a pretty slick yeah. costume. It is good. Are you wearing you clothes a green screen? Yeah. Oh, that's boring. It's cold out there. Eh. Mm. Cold in space. Do you, a, mm. do you have a green screen? It's cold in the vacuum of space. It's tough. Oh, floating. Okay. Space pickle. Appreciate you. 
I love you, Space Pickle. Appreciate you. Yeah, Casey's dressed up as the Mission Switch mascot. That's right. The Mission... <laughs> the Mission Switch mascot. Bogan, how you doing, buddy? I appreciate you being here. Well, listen, like, this is kind of... I don't really have much more planned. I was going to do a very random liquid tasting. If anybody wants to hang around for that, I'm going to do it. And it's just going to happen. I mean, eventually it's going to come to where you just kick all of us off the stream. Well, that will be at the end of the stream. But right now, I think I should taste the liquid, and I'm just going to hold you guys prisoner here while I do that. Talk amongst yourselves during your bumper. Talk amongst yourselves. Circle pit. Circle pit. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to taste the liquid tonight. Uh, I am going to pick an overdrip. Yes, this and this. Okay, so we're going to do a very random liquid tasting tonight, you guys, and, and nobody else gets to taste it but me, and that's boring. But that's okay. I'm going to end this poll. Hell yeah. Thank you to the 79% of you that said yes to Halloween and shame. Shame to the rest of you that don't enjoy Halloween. Shame on you. Yeah. I'm just shame. kidding. Shame. You cannot enjoy things. That's okay. That's okay. I have okay. to go spare my dinner. I'll be right back. Go. <sighs> We're doing uh, PCCD. We're doing the overdrip pear custard. We're doing uh, just tart. Uh, and we are adding in a third option tonight for the very random liquid tasting. Maven is making a turn, making a return. So everybody, it's time to vote for the very random liquid tasting. These are the liquids that we have tonight. This is testing grounds. This is the pear caramel custard guy. This is a, a, a juice from Canada called Maven that I have no idea what it tastes like. And this is a UK juice called Just Tart. Just Jam Tart. Jam Tart. I, I apologize. Jam Tart. So please vote in the chat. Please vote in the chat. Please vote in the chat. Let's turn the... A little bit. And please vote in the chat. Please vote in the chat. Overdrip PCCD is Overdrip. off to a strong start, which I didn't doubt it would be. What's that one? Uh, this is the pear, pear cream cheese Danish. Pear cream cheese Danish. Beecher, have you ever had a good pear flavor? Like a pear that you jam on, like a pear liquid? No. Do you like pears? It's very far and few. Like an e-liquid, you I wouldn't vape a pear? I feel like I haven't had like a pear liquid for like, I don't know, four years. Four years? Yeah, man. Yeah, they're not super common these days. I don't get to get on a vlog every week and open up random packages with liquid and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, see, Beecher has Christmas envy. Look at that. Yeah, Beecher does have Christmas envy, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. I only get it one day a year. Stuff. I'm going to, I don't know a spell for anti-envious, but... It just happened to you, feature. So suck Nick, on that. Nick, you know what would make this really, really random? What? Is if the two top winners, you mixed them together. In your <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That would be awful. Well, that that would be horrible. 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 Overdrip. Wow, this is kind of a, a tight race here. Get your votes in, you guys. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. There's 300 plus people watching right now and only 146 votes. That's unacceptable. I'm going to let this go for at least 30 more seconds. Unacceptable. Got a vote. Unacceptable. Dude, that Iron Man mask is so cool. Yeah, that one wins. That one wins. Sure. So cool. I thought Kent Mercury was going to win. <laughs> I, I wear that to the grocery store. Oh, what? This Flex one? in. Yeah, yeah, that's I'd sick. Wear that to the store. Yeah, see, Danielle knows she has the coolest costume, and she's just relishing it, relishing it. 
See, that's why I, I had to come funny. back because I didn't get to wear it. I didn't want to clash with anybody else, so I didn't wear it. But then I saw what Eric was wearing, and I was like, no. Yeah, it doesn't. People do must be it. It's Iron Man mask time. Technically, that's fucking... like the Iron Patriot, though, because it's the silver mask. I'm not. I don't 100 percent know all the difference between all of the Iron Man armors, but I think the silver one was the the something else, the Silver Centurion. I think it was the Silver Centurion armor. Anyway, I don't know. I'm not that nerdy. That's enough know. nerdy stuff. Uh, looks like Overdrip is definitely, definitely going to take this. Definitely, definitely going to take this. I'm going to go ahead and end that poll oh, right two? now. What's number two, though? I'll tell you in just one hot minute while this poll ends. Uh, let's see. Number two was... It doesn't say. Uh, Maven. Maven cave in number second. Okay. Maven. So I've been trying to here's taste... The, here's, here's the game plan, Nick. Okay. All right. You're going to first vape the overdrift. Make your assessment of whatever you do after a long interval of trying it. Okay. And then... And then... What do you say? You'll be like, this is good. You'll talk about it. And then you do the other one and you do a finger test and then you bait pair the overdrip with the finger test and tell us if it's good. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Do you still okay, have elevator you music okay, playing? Plan B. Oh yeah. That's Plan my, B. uh, <laughs> yeah. That's some dancing. elevator music. Yeah. That's some elevator oh, that's music. That's why Daniel's dancing. I can hear it like yeah. faintly. I was like, oh, okay. it's my, it's like my liquid tasting music. You know, it's, it's just what I do. It's just what I taste. It's a mood. Um, we're going to be tasting this liquid tonight. Did the Silver Centurion have different eyes, Sifu? All right. Here's the thing. When you mention something nerdy, like people are going to fact check you. So if I say that that's the Silver Centurion, people in the chat are going to fact check my nerdiness. And, uh, okay. Did it, it have different red eyes? And white eyes. Didn't red and different. white is what she has. She has both options. <laughs> that's so cool. See? White, Fuck, that's red. cool. All right, let me do yeah, a quick thanks. knuckle test of this. Pear cream cheese Danish. Pear cream cheese Danish. We're going to be tasting this out of the Eclipse RTA from My Vapes with my frame staple. Kent, you remember when we built frame staples? Yeah. This is mine. That was the last time that we did a live stream. It was that was so the last build stream. It was yes. So difficult that you never did it again. It was. It was so difficult. I just gave up on building. I didn't give up on building. I just. I needed. I need time to practice. Yeah. I can't just yeah. go on a live stream with like no practice and just be like, okay, I'm gonna try to do a frame staple. It's a lot of pressure. But Here we go. We're tasting this out of the Eclipse RTA with the new extension on there. Makes it into a, a four mil capacity, I believe. Four mil capacity. Let's try it. Bleh. Mm. Do you use RTAs, Beecher? Just yours. Just the type two? Yeah. Right okay, in. that's sick. Appreciate that. The views uh, cardamizer keeps falling off. Oh, go figure! Unbelievable, right? Just shitty yeah. technology. <laughs> shitty technology. All right, let me have an initial toot here. Whoa! All right, fine. Um, all right. Well, here's the thing. I'm just gonna sit here and vape this. And then I'll come back and talk about it. And in the meantime, I want to hear everybody's favorite horror movies. Go. Absolute favorite Eric. horror movie of all time. Eric. Uh, the Conjuring. Oh, The Conjuring is good. The Conjuring uh, is good. That's a good question. That's a, it is a good question. That's why I asked it. It was easy for me. The Conjuring. My, the my Conjuring's <laughs> good. E the original Evil Dead. Yes. Yes. The original yeah. Evil Dead's good. That's a good one. Evil Dead 2 is better. Evil Dead 2 is just a remake of Evil Dead 1. Yeah, but it's 
a really good one. Really it good. is. It is really good. But the original Evil and, Dead is kind of legendary. Yeah. Uh, Hills Have Eyes is a good one. Yes. That scared the shit out of me when I first watched one, one horror movie feature. Oh, sorry. Just one. The Conjuring. <laughs> <laughs> what about Eric? Does Eric have a favorite horror film? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original. It's so disturbing, isn't it? That's why. That fucks with me every time. It's disturbing, and it's so like... I would describe that movie as visceral. Like, it feels like it's hot in that movie. You can picture sitting in that house and how hot and, like, muggy and horrible it, it is. Terrible. The stink. Like, yes... Yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They had a uh, they had a Texas Chainsaw Massacre haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights, and they did that famous scene with the big sliding door, you know, where he grabs the girl and pulls her behind the door and then slams it shut. They did that live, and it's horrifying. It's horrifying to see it in real life. They got this big... He was like 6'6 to play yeah, Leatherface. Dude. This huge dude playing Leatherface grabs this woman, th like slams the door. It was really cool to see it live. It's like a horror movie brought to life. Kent doesn't watch horror movies. No. In the chat, Hellraiser, you know? that's a good one. Hellraiser? Hellraiser. Fuck yeah, Hellraiser. Hellra All the Hellraiser movies are good. Hellbound yeah, is good. The Hellraiser one, uh, Not too long ago, it's so badass it's so badass he's like, he's like no skin on smoking a cigarette he's like come in here <laughs> he's like, I, need more, I need more bodies it's so it's good great. jaws dude jaws is good a serbian film technically oh, yeah. i guess the serbian film counts but no one should watch this oh, a serbian watch film do don't watch it just Tom don't says, cats Cats, yeah, the Cats, the remake, the theater with uh, Taylor Swift, yeah, that could be a good horror movie. That, yeah, the, I could see that. Suspiria was good. Suspiria is kind of like that classic horror movie, yeah. isn't it? Sus spoken Italian. Suspiria is really good. Yeah, Suspiria is really good. good. Maximum Overdrive, remember that Stephen King yep. with the 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 killer semi truck. <laughs> Hereditary, uh, Scanners, yeah, Scanners is really good. Bram Stoker's Dracula is really good. Saw is really good. Monsters, Inc., come on. Come on, J2. Yeah, that's scary as fuck, dude. Monsters, Inc., terrifying. Uh, my, I will say my, ooh, Event Horizon. Sifu, good call with Event Horizon. Event Horizon is banging. I watched that recently, and it, it kind of freaked me out still. It's still really good. I think that I wouldn't, I wouldn't Night, go that of far. Night of Living Dead, Night of Living Dead, Hellraiser, Rosemary's Baby, what a great movie, Devil's Rejects, yeah, that's really good. Human Centipede, didn't love it, it, but it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking weird concept that one was, dude. The Human Centipede, like who thought of that? That's crazy. Right? Not just who, who made it into a movie. Yes, Dead Alive is a hidden gem. Dead That's Alive it. was directed by the, the 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 Lord of the Rings guy. Yeah. Who is Peter Jackson? Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson, Fucking Lord of the Rings of guy, did Dead Alive, and it's like the goriest movie of all time. The the lawnmower scene towards the end is incredible. It's so good. Yeah, Dead Alive. Joe. Dead Alive, good call. From Dusk Till Dawn, fuck yeah, From Dusk Till Dawn. I'm going to say that my favorite horror movie of all time is The Exorcist 3, which is oh. weird, but The Exorcist 3 is so good. It's really, okay. really good. My parents took me to see that in the movies. Exorcist 3? Yeah. Wow. That's a terrifying movie to see in the theater as a child. Yeah. My parents were fucked up. Wow. The Exorcist 3 is really good. Really very yeah, I good. Can't, I, I still can't do those Exorcist movies. The Shining is... is Classic. One of the best. Classic. Yeah, yeah See, I mean... Psycho? Psycho. I it's on. Psycho. Night of the Living Dead. Like, those I are know. classic. Night of the Living Dead is legitimately holds up. Like, that is a good movie still. And st it is still a good movie. The Shining. Classic. Classic. 
Psycho, Invasion classic. Of the body snatchers. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. 28 Days. 28 Days Later. Arachnophobia. Damn. Yeah, I remember seeing that one as a kid. Yeah, I remember Arachnophobia. John Goodman was in Arachnophobia. Okay, we need to sing Happy Birthday real quick, and I need to judge this pear cream cheese tart. What is this thing? I can't even remember it's it. Halloween. It's Halloween. I'm not singing Happy Birthday. Pear cream cheese Danish. Yeah, you will, Kent. Yeah, you will. Pear cream cheese Danish from Overdrip. Here's the thing. I like Overdrip, and I like his liquids, so I'm biased. I kind of, I, I kind of assumed I was going to like this. I haven't had a pear flavor in a really long time, and this is a really delightful bakery-based pear flavor. It's like a pear crumbly dessert kind of thing. Creamy, custardy, so pear. It's really good. Overdrip has been making some really good liquids lately. Yeah, what was Danielle's favorite? She said... Oh, Conjuring. She said the Conjuring. Conjuring. Did you see the sequel? Wasn't there a sequel to The Conjuring? I think there's three now. There's three Conjurings? Danielle's muted. But there's muted. three Conjurings right now? Uh, the third one's coming out? No, it already came out on HBO. Oh! Actually, it came out, the third one came out on my birthday, June 4th, and it was like the best birthday present ever because that's my favorite horror series. But yeah, there's three... But then there's also all the like in the same universe movies, like all the Annabelles, you know, oh, the Nun. Is that in the same those. universe? Yeah, it's all the no. same like universe, basically. Whoa. Okay, Annabelle, that's cool. The Nun. Mm -hmm. I that's I cool. Love those. They're they're like the first Conjuring is definitely the best one. Like yes. oh, for yeah. sure, 100%. hands down. Conjuring, yeah, it's really the second good. Conjuring was okay. The third one was more interesting than scary. I you really know, like to be scared. I like to be, yeah, I like to be scared yeah. too. I like it. Did you ever, you know what movies I really liked were the Insidious movies. Those uh, are yeah. really good yeah. too. The first Insidious was really scary. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. legitimately scary. I didn't, yeah, I, we the watched second that with one, the kids uh, the last week too. That was in, another one we made Insidious? Watch. Yeah, Insidious yeah. is really good. Mm -hmm. What about The Sixth Sense? Yeah, the Sixth Sense is pretty good. Yeah. That's like a mystery, though. Yeah, that's, that's like not really. Mystery, I don't. I wouldn't like, categorize that as like a horror I was, film. I was Am really I dead? Am I not dead? dead? I don't know. <laughs> it's scary. I mean, it's look. It's it's certainly ghostly. You know, it's it's Dude, he was scary. under the blanket and this dead woman popped up as a kid. That's the scariest shit. You've I mean, it definitely it has was, some yeah. scares. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I thought I legit. I thought that was a horror movie. I'm sorry. I'm the wrong person to have a yeah, you're not the Halloween person. It's okay. Here's what I'm going to say about... Let me wrap this up. Let me shout out Overdrips PCCD. Okay, so this is a pear. This is a pear cream cheese Danish. It is top notch. This is a good pear. You would love it. I'd like to drip this on that tongue, Beecher. Just drip it all over that mask. It's a good pear. This is not... <laughs> Pernacious. This is not a bad, bad pear. This is a good, crispy, bright, sparkling pear on top of like a cream cheese Danish. It's got a strong like bakery backbone. And the pear is just this kind of sparkling top note on top of it. Damn. Damn hell ass good, Overdrip. <laughs> Damn hell ass good. One more time. Shout out to Overdrip's testing grounds. Damn. PCCD. I haven't had a clunker yet from Testing Grounds. I haven't had a clunker yet. He does have a peanut butter that has some stiff competition. Like, there's a peanut butter in Australia that's really good. Eric Vinyl and Vapor has PB Party. It's got a lot to live up to. So maybe we can get to the peanut butter. Maybe we can put the peanut butter up next week. But for now, this pear is great. This pear is really good. I'm going to say this pear is good. Overdrip, this pear is good. This is the first good pear I've had in a long time. A really long time. Delicious. Freaking delicious. Damn. Well, 
I feel like we're we're getting to the end of the vlog here. Man, I appreciate you guys coming out to hang out on the Halloween vlog. I very much appreciate it. Beecher picking his nose. Kent dressed as uh, Freddie Mercury with long red hair. <laughs> Eric the Duck Wookiee. Uh, we had uh, uh, two Iron Mans at one point, and of course Severus Snape, which you know, he's really the the character that held this all together the whole time. I shaved my face for this. I can't believe it. I like it. It's, it's a whole weird thing. My Makes wife you look like seven years younger. It's yeah. weird that I look younger when I shave my face, but my <laughs> wife has never seen me without uh, facial hair. Never. And Neither we've been married three years. We're coming up on three years married. She's never I've seen me without a goatee. She's been married to you. And I don't yeah, that's, a whore, that's a horror story in its own. That is. It's a scary did movie. She, did, she, did she freak out? Yeah. She lost yeah. it, man. She ran around screaming. She's like, you're not my you husband. You're not my husband. Sure. I don't know who this stranger <laughs> really? is. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> He's like, no, Pickle. I'm like, what pickle, this is me. What are you talking about? This is me, Pickle. It's your husband. <laughs> <laughs> it is I, Snow No running in the hallways. <laughs> <laughs> no running in the hallways. Uh, yeah, uh, so... What a fun Halloween stream. What a fucking fun Halloween stream. I appreciate Kent, do you have your hand raised? you want to say something there, buddy? <laughs> yeah? What do you got? I figure I have to raise my hand at this point. You're not yeah. going to interrupt. Like, what do you got? You're ready to get off the stream, and at this point, you never you don't tolerate this kind of thing, so I had to raise my hand. What's I up? I just wanted to comment. I wanted to comment more about your look, if possible. Okay. Let's just speak now, loudly. Do you know what's strange is that is this loud enough? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Louder. Yell. <laughs> Is that, you know how normally you take your glasses off and you look like weird? When you have no facial hair and you take your glasses off, you look like a normal person. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Just normal. We should go to a Take yeah, It Back that... Sunday concert. I have no identity right now. <laughs> I have no glasses, no goatee, no hat. It's like, who am I? Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't look strange though. That's what I'm saying. Normally, you take your glasses off. I'm like, dude, put them on. That's weird. But now I'm like, oh, weird. That's but just what Nick look looks weird. like now. This is yeah. There's a whole new Nick. I'm here for you it. You take. You should take this opportunity to change your personality drastically. <laughs> take up horseback really? riding. You know. What should I do? Yeah. Wait, did you say take up horseback riding? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. See? If, yeah. yeah dude, I mean, look, I'm in. Like it's like, it. bro, as soon as I shaved my beard off, I was like, I the world is open to me now. I can do things I've never done. I could learn how to drive a helicopter. You should. I should, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah, you should. The world is my oyster now that I have no beard. I can do anything. I could be Iron Man. Uh, no, 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 no! I can't. Normal. I can't be Iron Man now. Nah. That's no. That's only your mask won't be as good as mine. It won't. Okay. It won't. It won't. It won't. It won't even be the same. It won't even be the same. All right. Well, listen, you guys. We're we're running long. I, I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out on this Halloween. Uh, Halloween Eve, Eve, Eve. Let's see. It's the twenty eighth, twenty eighth, thirty first. Eve, Eve, Eve. Halloween Eve, Eve, Eve. So I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, and uh, I think we're going to wrap up this here stream, unless there were any more Super Chats that popped in. Although I don't know that there were. Oh, there were some Super Chats that came in. Matt Sinister says, Face Meat is in... Okay, that's right. Howard Stern, that's right. Dry Oatmeal. I'll have a talk to, uh, to Face Meat about you. Uh, Fishy, that's very gracious of you. You know what Fishy said? He just said, Danielle, 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 Danielle. That's it. Hi, Fishy. Hi, fi the Iron Danielle. <laughs> Fishy, appreciate you, bro. Sexy King Phil says, uh, I'm late. That's fine. Shed time is officially every day for me now. That's fine, too. Uh, been tearing up in COD lately, playing in like an aimbot with my insane flicks. 
That's some video game language going on right there that I have no idea what they're talking about because <laughs> I'm not a uh, I don't I don't play video games so much uh, these days anymore. Lethal coils, boo! Ah, you son of a bitch. Yo yo, fam. Yo yo to you, uh, Mr. Lethal Coils. Appreciate you, bro. Barbara Burgess says I'm with Kent. The scariest I get is Monster Squad. Yeah. Look, yeah, horror I'm movies. He, horror hey, movies this, aren't this for everybody. For uh, being scared of movies. <laughs> <laughs> for being scared of movies. <laughs> Uh, Ashes, the Green Witch says, uh, Happy Halloween, y'all. You guys look rad, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend full of spookiness. Eat all the candy, scare kids, and be awesome. Most importantly, keep on vaping till the coffin drops. Till the coffin drops. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Ashes, the Green Witch. Happy Halloween to you, Ms. Green Witch. And then uh, lastly, we got some uh, 1965 sparkle action that says, Please say in your Snape voice, Sam, you're my favorite muggle. Okay. Well, Sam, you are my favorite muggle. There you go. There you go. That was my best. That was the best Alan Rickman impression I could possibly pull out on the spot at that time. Look. No, Ken has to take us out with happy birthday and his best. That's best, right. We're going to sing happy Freddie, birthday here. Freddie Mercury. There's some happy birthdays that do need to happen. Hang on. I know there's some cool kids happy birthdays as well that uh, I, I need to get out here. How do I show the birthday calendar? I think that's it. Nope. It's exclamation point. Nope. It's exclamation point space. Nope. It's neither of those things. All right. So we are going to celebrate, let's see, Texas Mom, Megs, it's Megs, Megs, RY Tunes 34 and Megs, uh, it's your birthday, let's tack on Cool Tech Dreamer and Nate O Potato, November 3rd birthdays, and Megs' birthday is actually on Halloween, so... I'm going to sing happy birthday. You guys don't have to join in, but I'm still going to sing happy birthday to Megs and a few other people. So here we go. Ready? With my wait, sleep wait. wand. Mm. The whole song? Kadabra. Yeah. The whole song. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We sound great. Happy birthday, dear Megs and uh, RY Tunes, Cool Tech Dreamer, Nate O Potato, a few other people. Happy birthday to you. That was really well. That went really great, you guys. We sound awesome. <laughs> And completely yeah. in sync, you know? Yeah. I was worried Ooh. that the stream would make us sound members. off. <laughs> <laughs> in sync, dude. We're in sync. We're bye, 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 you know? It's just, that's how we roll. Let's end so, the vlog with one of those songs. With in sync? Yeah. Do you know an in sync song off the top of your head? You just said bye, one. Bye, I know bye, it looks bye, that crazy. I'm the one to tell you, baby, can't you see? Turn them on the turn them in the fan the fee. You oh, may dude, hate me, but good. it ain't no lie, baby. Ba ba ba. <laughs> I'm the one that touch your baby, can't you tell? Just the one that find a bunny can't you tell? Yeah, this is you, more do, do, than I You may <laughs> hate me, but it ain't no lie, baby. Ba ba ba. Bye 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 yeah, it's good shit. All right, so, hey, listen, you guys, this has been a really fun vlog. I really appreciate you guys coming out on this Halloween Eve, Eve, Eve in costume. Uh, huge shout-out to Eric Vinyl and Vapor, a.k.a. The Duck Wookie. Shout-out to Kent Twisted Messes, a.k.a. The Freddie Mercury with long red hair. Shout-out to Beecher Howard, creator of an RDA for vaping and an RDA for vaping V2 and... The, the master of your dreams, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> and shout out to Kasa president, my co-host, Danielle Jones slash Jedi slash 
What up, Iron Man? What up, Iron Man? What a great Halloween. This is a fun Halloween. This was funner than Haunted House. This was funner than trick-or-treating. This is funner than everything. I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, we're going to end this stream literally right now. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you guys. I'm going to say be excellent to each other. I'm going to say no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful than burning deadly, deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So no matter what's in your hand, you guys, let's keep on vaping. Peace out. Be excellent Peace. to each other. Jiggly biggly. <laughs> <laughs>